Hello, good morning, good morning. Hope y'all are doing well. Tony thinks it's funny that I do a greeting like that to start, but to be honest, it just feels it just feels right, you know. I just I just wanna I wanna treat it as if uh, there are people here, you know. And uh, if someone rewatches it, it's not some weird like you guys suck. Hey, stockfish, how's it going? But yeah, that's me. I'm going to jump into a game here. Didn't I just play Stolen? Was it? Oh, dang, I lost two games to Stolen Monster. Frick. <laughs> Didn't I just play Stolen Monster the other day? I did, and it did, in fact, not go well for me. Hey, Sinister. How you doing? By the way, Stock, I, uh, I actually did, in fact, see your game. With the the sacrifices, that was very nice. Very nice game. Yeah, this bishop kind of holds down the fort on the king side. I try and use my knight to make some magic happen. Oh, Roro's gonna show me the game. I I am uh, I'm a bit of a lurker, not gonna lie. I am one of those people. Uh, like I try and keep up on any any and all notifications that I have, but I just uh, yeah, I get I get a decent amount of messages to respond to each day, so I kind of uh, just don't respond to some <laughs> and and lurk. <laughs> um, sinister, you've been grinding chessable. What was uh, I feel like you I feel like you said the course you were working on, but I, I I don't remember off the top of my head. Hey CJ in chat, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Just thought that here's gonna be people who want analysis, and I'm not gonna be waiting. <laughs> no, so I do I do the deep dive analysis. On Mondays, for sure. Like, absolutely deep dive. Uh, other days, you know, someone asked me to look at a game. I just kind of take a quick look and just appreciate the the grandeur. Uh, working on five, but mainly two. Mainly Queen's Indian for white and Caro. Yeah, just casually working on five different chessable courses. No big deal. As you do. Man, what is this structure right now? I think let's play queen h5 and try and put some annoying pressure over on this side. Um, maybe, oh, he's going to take. Is he going to sack? He's not going to sack. He's just going to gift me the spawn on h4. Okay. Yeah, I think F3 now. Hey, Hutton Chess. All ready for Charlotte? Well, I mean, if you're asking if I'm packed, the answer is most certainly no. But um, I'm feeling pretty good, you know. Feeling pretty good, honestly. Okay, wait, let's drop back. Uh, I don't know what he's doing with d4, but I was just dropping back to kind of ready the attack, so... I'm going to do my thing. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't think I want to. I don't think I want to trade here. Dang, this is a mess. Dang darn... This is most certainly 
a mess. Okay, I'm gonna play, I'm gonna try and play quick, basically no matter what he does. Wheat, 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 wheat. Uh yep, yeah, yeah, that's just that's just gonna be checkmate. That's just gonna be checkmate. Oh we got him! Oh we got him. Uh in here for a little while, but doing some job interview prep with your old internship boss in about 45 minutes. Nice. Sinister, if you want quickly check out this chess game against simple bar we got willy wonka in chat willy or wony he's gonna wonka how you doing chips and hymer best underscore bra just joined the doghouse thank you for the follow best bra wait what Chipsenheimer just joined the doghouse. Chipsenheimer, thank you for the follow. Wait, <clears throat> what's what's this username? Oh, are we supposed to hide this? Uh, don't look. <laughs> hey, dude. Yeah. Um, best bra. We can play, dude. We can play. Let me take a quick gander at uh, this these two mysterious accounts. I don't know either one of them. Just looking at it from Black's perspective for fun. Spoiling all the stuff with the computer on. Man, no sack. He didn't sack on it. Whoa. Simple bar now. Came to sack some stuff. Oh, king takes. Because queen takes knight g4. Knight g4 anyways. Oh, because it's... Yeah, that's going to be nasty. Oh, man. That's going to be real nasty. Oh, that's going to be real nasty. Oh, yeah. I mean, you have to take, right? Yeah, yeah, yep, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dang, uh, little combo, e3, knight, g4, wow, here's simple var thought, they were the one attacking, and you're like, yeah, but e3, though, and I'm the one attacking, oof, very nice, what a crushing game. All right, uh, best bra. You want to send me the challenge, or did you want me to send a challenge? If you want me to send the challenge, what time control? Either works. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> why why is tactful coming in and hitting us with the uh, Tigran Petrosian Reddit post? Um so best bra, I, I the the links don't work. You gotta you gotta send the challenge on chess.com. Yeah, greetings, Tigran. Wow. Welcome, welcome. I, I hope you're doing well. <laughs> Uh, I'll allow it this once. That's fair. Yeah, the the links the links just uh, I I I don't want to I don't want to go into explaining why I just uh, gonna say it just doesn't work. But I I can challenge you if uh, you tell me what time control you want to play. I have I have your username ready to go. I'm in the play tab. I can send it. What is my cap? My cap says be kind. I got this I got this cap from Hawaii on a trip uh unrelated to Tony's trip. 
Uh, here, I'm going to send you the challenge unrated. Looks like you sent it rated. Prefer, prefer unrated. If that's all right. Yeah. All right. What, what opening are we feeling? You know, I'm, I'm going to try, I'm going to try and, uh, feel a li at least a little bit inspired by by sinister here and uh play start with night of three how do you clean a laptop in the crease between the keyboard and the screen oh no no worries you, you mute me that's fine yeah more focus i'm very distracting better not be unchecked no 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 I would never do such a thing. Okay, I feel like I want to start with B3 now. If he plays knight c6. It's calling this the black Mustang defense for him. Really? Is that what knight c6 is? Knight of three, knight c6. The black Mustang defense. Chess players are based. <laughs> Wait, Gibsonheimer, why? Why? You you you're just feeling it. You're just feeling the baseness of chess players. Two fifty seven. This man is a demon. You know it. I mean, you gotta watch out for these people because they come in here. They want the challenges. Pretty often, it's because uh, they're they're beasts. And they're just secretly waiting for their opportunity. Okay, no expert. But I think I can take that pawn. I think I can take that pawn and I can get away with it. Take, take. Did I like knight g4? I guess worst case I play bishop g3. I mean, it could be a little bit concerning if I if I drop back bishop b2. Some sort of queen f6. It's it's annoying to defend, but yeah, I think I just take and I, I play bishop g3. I give up my fianchetto. You think? Just don't think. Just do it. I got... Caden, why queen f6? Really? Okay, I, I meant queen... <laughs> I meant... I meant queen h4. Okay, now then I have... To, okay, you're right, row, row. I'm still going to play bishop g3 because that's what I was committed to do, but... Yeah, I understand, row, row. You know, it's the second game of the day. We're still warming up. That last game, I didn't really know what was going on. I just started taking stuff and kind of see, tried to see where it would take me, and it worked. This is the first game I actually got to, you know, think calculate a bit more yeah that, that, that whole i mean bishop goes back to b2 it, it it stays there right queen f6 we don't take it you know that's not how that works it's not how any of this works yeah stolen monster no he's good but I uh I do feel like I dodged a lot of the calculate like there are a lot of C two or Queen F one lines that I think were were pretty spicy in that line that somehow I managed to dodge. So it was it was kind of it kind of worked out nicely for me. But yeah, stolen's really good. Still has a plus score against me. Oh, I did, and I did, I did, uh, I hit 2,800 again on Blitz. Feeling pretty good about that. Yeah, plus nine, I got, got it, got it back. Chicken burger or chicken sandwich? Be careful, this might get you canceled. Uh, chicken sandwich. Right, because we're we're talking typically a chicken burger. You're gonna, sh um, it's not really shred. What is it when you you put it through the thing to make a patty? Grind. You grind the chicken, and then you make it into a patty. It's 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 like a texture thing. 
ground grind yeah so that's a chicken burger you, you grind the meat you turn it into a burger you cook it like that a chicken sandwich i mean you could have a grilled chicken sandwich which is just like a grilled chicken breasts or uh you could fry it which is typically where you get you get that fried chicken oh that makes such a delicious delicious sandwich that basically makes that not a competition for me i mean okay if it was just a grilled chicken sandwich or a chicken burger it's a conversation but since chicken sandwich encompasses having a fried piece of chicken oh it's, it's not Hopefully, hopefully that doesn't get me canceled. The difference between both is that chicken sandwich is the right name. Wait, wait, Chipsenheimer. So you you would consider if you grind the chicken and uh, you know actually turn it into more of a burger, you would still consider that a chicken sandwich because I I do see both of them as a, two very distinct things. Because it's the process of what you do to the. It's it's the process of what. It's the process of what you do to the, the meat, yeah. That's what, that's what changes it. Canes or Chick Fil A. Uh, I definitely prefer Chick Fil A sauce. I'm not a big raising canes. I've I think I've been there. Cause it just came to Utah. It's pretty popular, but. Um. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wingstop Ranch. Oh, Hut and Chess. I love Wingstop Ranch. I like I like Wingstop Ranch. Just joined the doghouse. Thank you, thank you for the follow. I love Wingstop Ranch with a freaking passion, Mr. President. Gotta go, cane sauce over Chick Fil A. Yeah, I I don't know. I I, I struggle remembering the cane sauce because I've only been there once, and the chicken that I got was not cooked very well. And it could it could have just been like a a a bad batch, but whoa! You think Wingstop Ranch takes the cake? Okay, hot and chest. Then then we're good. You know, as as long as as long as we can agree on Wingstop Ranch, <laughs> we can be good. Uh, chicken nuggies or fries? We're talking chicken fries, like from Burger King. Are we talking fries, fries? Oh, Miles, you've never had wing stop. Dang, dude, you're missing out. I there, there's a there's a wing stop really close to us here, and so I go there quite a bit, and uh, it's a good it's a good time. It's a good time every time. Oh, can we get fancy with it? Can we get fancy with it? Can we get? So Chipsenheimer, this feels like a sad time to tell you that uh, I'm not supposed to eat nightshades, which includes potatoes. I know it's weird, but it includes potatoes. And so I, uh, of course, I'm going to go with the, the chicken nugs. Because I can't, I can't eat, uh, well, I can, and they're delicious, but I shouldn't eat fries fries. Ooh. Look at this guy trying to hit me with that sneaky, sneaky little checkmate over there. Not today, though. Hey, man, my New Year's resolution is hit rating 2,000. What would be needed for coaching or even... I do coach, but I take students very, very limitedly. Anyone that... Uh... Hey, that was kind of like a call an ambulance, but not for me. Small moment. Not not too not too tactical. Just just straight up. Um, yeah. Hello. I do. I take students very very limitedly, and for the most part, I'm just not right now because I just don't got time for it. But as I tell anyone on stream that asks, you feel free to reach out to me, and we could talk about it. Uh, focus. Thank you. 
I appreciate the condolences for potatoes. <laughs> Ugh, potatoes are delicious. The focus, is it true that I have a relative called Brindy? Yes, and how am I supposed to say that, as I just did? Wait. Focus, how do you know that? I mean, I'm sure it's out there. Like, I know, I think both of my brother's names may be on my Wikipedia. My mom's name's probably out there as well. It's, okay, Brindy's on Wikipedia too. I didn't know that one. Yes. Those are... You feel like it's a crappy game? I mean, it's... Tactically, I got you, for sure. Best bra. But, you know, I don't think it's too bad. I mean... I'm 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 fairly decent at the game, so I caught you on a couple of tactics, and of course that that oh, <laughs> well, <laughs> I promise that wasn't intentional. Uh, uh, well, good thing I I uh, I was winning. Um, but <laughs> oh, you're gonna resign? No, <laughs> ah, this freaking this gets me the the. Dude, I don't know. <laughs> uh, geez. Man, my mouse slips have been bad lately. And it's always it's always from like clicking pieces. Freaking freaking Tony. Uh rematch. Uh I I have another I have another game request. Best bra. Um, because this was a 10 minute, I, I, I won't give you a rematch for now. I got to play dude. Dude is up to play, but definitely if you stick around, it could be possible. Requesting an undo is stupid. I didn't request an undo. I'm, I'm, I'll play this. I'll own up to this and play this position. You know, the other, the other week I was playing uh, a bullet game and I mouse slipped my queen like that for a piece against someone about my rating. And we played on, and I ended up swindling him so hard, it, it was super satisfying. So I just, uh, you mouse slip, own up to it, and uh, see, what, see, what, see where it takes us. But the timing on that was, uh, <laughs> was funny. Yeah, dude is ready to go. Dude is, is one of the most consistent for uh, getting in a challenge against me on Thursdays. Okay, we're playing E3. Yeah, GG's best bra. I, I appreciate the respect of resigning to the mouse slip, but definitely not necessary. G6. Uh, I'm tempted to take on F6. Go for like a Trumpowski type. I'm going to do it. And then I'm going to rush C4, Knight C3, try and uh, hold this D5 square. How was the day off? Um, focus. It was. It's good. It, I, it's really really isn't much of a day off um <laughs> wednesday's kind of my day to catch up on other things and so full of cleaning and and teaching i have, I have lessons on wednesday and uh yeah just other things that i that i have to do but it's nice the umbreon of chess the umbreon of chess Highlight wasted. Wait, why are you wasting a highlight? Umbreon of chess. Umbreon underscore of underscore chess just joined the doghouse. Thank you for the follow.
Okay. Wait, that's not good. Is that good? I think. So I like this. If I get knight takes d4, except this move, bishop b4, because he hasn't played bishop g7 yet. Because he hasn't played that yet. So I think I'm going to castle first. Umbreon up chess. Uh, there is a queue. You can join the queue by using channel points to challenge a dog to a game. Uh, currently, because I just started, it's it's pretty light, pretty breezy. So not not uh, not too much going on as far as challenges yet. Okay, hold on. Hold on, I could take with the pawn and look for some sort of rookie seven and d5 stuff. Or I take with the knight, threatening, threatening knight takes c6. Which, I mean, it's not like a massive threat. It's just trying to ruin the pawn structure. Actually, I think I should take with the knight. My concern with taking with the pawn is actually bishop b4 and after rookie one, king f8. He doesn't block. If he doesn't block, then I'm left with this annoying pressure. So I think knight takes d4. Thank you for playing the Queen's Eighty Five. This is very instructive. Well, I hope that I hope what I'm doing is good. This is just kind of me, just trying to play and have fun with it. But <laughs> Mr. President, you're definitely the only one that doesn't want to challenge me one of these days, Mr. President. Hello to How to Train a Dragon. Would you like to start with the tutorial or jump right into the action? Always. If you get a chance to ride a dragon, I hope you just jump right into it. I know, I know that sounds dumb because it's a dragon. And you probably need instructions, but let's be honest, it's a dragon. And you, you need to take every advantage you can, every minute you possibly, possibly can get. Oh, wait. I don't know if this is actually much of a decision. I'm really just thinking about knight d5 and the follow-up. But knight d5 is definitely the move. I mean, hitting here and some possible tactics. Do I think the Catalan is a good way to improve and play for a win? I, I do think the Catalan is a, is a solid opening. It, it's uh, it, positionally, yes, I, I could see there being... Um, some, some nice principles, if you can, if you can get a handle on the Catalan positions, I think you're going to be quite happy uh, with, with what you're learning. Focus. Yeah, don't don't complain. If you, if you don't ask for d instructions, then don't complain when uh, you face the consequences. Uh, playing very fast dragon for around three years, I'm sure I would do good at riding a dragon. Just kidding. You can't jump right into the action. Do you want to get eaten by a raging dragon or what? I mean, you know, I'm sure it's trained at least enough that it wouldn't eat me. I was that was my my thinking. Uh, yes, yeah, Sinister. Caro Khan. <laughs> here, here, this is, this is, welcome to the stream, guys. This is where I play viewers and I uh, show Sinister how I would play his openings. Uh, first, we start with Queen's Indian uh, as white, and then I'm going to jump into the Caro Khan. Uh, I don't normally play either of these openings, so it should be an adventure, but hopefully we learn together. <laughs> uh... Yeah, that knight c7, a little little trick. I was really looking at some rook c7 stuff or knight takes e7, but I think knight takes, then you take with a king, and once again, you, you kind of sneak away. So just go for the, the, the material quickly. All right, uh, here, the two bishops are fairly good, but my knight on d4 
helps keep them in check, particularly this this light square bishop. He's, he's moving it. I'm trying to explain it. He's moving his bishop. Um, here, strangely enough, I think the big benefit for me, since he has the two bishops, it is an open position. The benefit is actually that this pawn is on f6, which seems a bit strange, but because this pawn is on f6, it allows me to have this chain for my knights that uh, does help me have that control over the bishops helps you know the like I said the knights hitting a lot of the light squares and then sitting comfortably on a dark square to also try and limit the bishop here um, and so just that little bit of difference with just this pawn and this nice chain I think is helping a lot Umbreon the problem is I getting close to none practice because none goes into it and when I do almost every time sack the c pawn incorrectly and just get a bad game man is that is that your opponents that are just not going into it correctly because if so that's that's very rude of them you would think your opponents would at least have the decency to let you destroy them out of the opening stayed at the continental hotel it's only okay <laughs> Only had continental breakfast. <laughs> we didn't have any of the other services. And if not, what service were you interested in? I just play random moves. Gypsenheimer, sometimes, you know, you play enough random moves. It's it's gonna it's gonna lead to something eventually. Ricky, I am I'm accepting challenges from viewers right now all right we wait a second oh no because he has back rank ideas so i was thinking maybe i could play rook a8 i get forked but then i take if he takes here i take with the knight which protects my rook and if he takes here, I have this nice pin. But the problem is, after I get my nice pin, he is able to drop over and threaten back rank mate, getting out of the pin and keeping me from taking there. So I think I need to go rookie seven. Bad opponents not letting me practice my new openings I learned from random YouTube short videos. Yeah, it's it's rude. They should uh so they should respect the YouTube short openings. I just wanted to stay at the John Wick Hotel, but it was more like a travel in. Wait, really focus. Not not that nice. It'll be too bad. Of course they can do what they want, but the amount that except Queen's Gambits, I get where I play E4 and I play E6 is insane. Wait, Queen's Gambits? How are they accepting Queen's Gambits after E4 and E6? Any Clash of Clans? I've never gotten into Clash of Clans. I, I, I played, uh, what was it called? Samurai Siege years ago that I think was was pretty much the same idea as Clash of Clans. Basically a ripoff, if I'm not mistaken. But, like, Samurai and, like, Dragons, it was cool. Um, and I actually tried to go back and just, like, check after after years, just... Kind of go check because, like, hey, I remember that. Like, I wonder if it's still around. And it is most certainly not. It is gonzo. Discontinued, no longer running it, which was a bit sad. Chipsenheimer, are you the bad guy for losing a chess? No. People appreciate those that lose a chess, especially when you play them. I hate, I hate good positions. Yeah, I mean, who needs good positions, right? Okay, so the reason I was playing f3, give myself some back rank space, but also preparing to attack this bishop, because the only way for him to protect this bishop is to move this bishop, because this bishop's squares are completely, nailed all these arrows, uh, completely restricted. And with f3, now if he goes bishop f5, I have e4. Uh, actually, I might go g4 just to keep my... my No, e4 to keep this cut off, yeah. 
now now I get to go e4 and uh, trap that bishop. So it works out nicely. Umbreon, you get d4, d5, c4, d takes e4, e4, e6. Oh, way more than I should since it's just bad. I've only played uh, e4 against the Queen's Gambit accepted one time, and my opponent did play e5. So, yeah, e6. I don't know too much about that, but yeah, I know e5 is is like the move, right? You remember when you were lower rated, you saw a video on the Queen Wayward attack and use that opening until like 1400 on Lee Chess. Very, very, very influenced. Uh, hey, if it works, it works. Yeah, and we take, and um, actually, let's throw the check first, and then we take on b8. The king has to go to h6. This pawn will be in danger. Okay, at this point, okay, well, <laughs> I could just mate, but let's 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 emphasize it. Uh, let's emphasize it. Not even take the rook. He offered me a draw. <laughs> uh, GG's, dude. GG's. All right, if anyone wants to challenge me, feel free to. I want to take a look. How how uh, reasonable was taking on f6? Interesting. So the computer actually doesn't love it. But I felt... Like, I got a very comfortable position. Where did it go wrong? It says you need to play rook c8. Just leave the bishop there. Which I guess makes sense, because this bishop's covering a lot of important squares, and I guess here you get the queen trade, and it kind of calms things down. So yeah, now after bishop d7, stuff starts to fall apart. Okay, it thinks I should have kept queens on the board, but... Yeah, whatever. Ooh, bishop e6 here. And you're just in time to start kicking my rooks. I think my plan here was to sack the ex exchange back at some point and just say I have two pawns. Yeah. Red rum. The chess games are going very well. You're thinking about rook c8 too. Yeah. Yeah, it's... uh. You probably felt it. Probably felt it. I thought knight takes e6 to rook f7. No, I would probably play something like this. f4 to stop bishop e5. Take, take, knight takes. But I wonder if it's it's just difficult. Yeah, I think it's just difficult for me to keep you from taking at least one pawn back. So my advantage is in the full two pawns. Which is interesting. Which is interesting. So... Yeah, it's uh, maybe the last chance to, to, to save it was bishop e6 there. And now, yeah, the rook going back, just that one move. And without that, it's, it all falls apart. Yeah. Uh, 1400 ain't bad, though. Yeah, Lee Chess, no, 1400 is pretty good. Chipsenheimer, you found a new strategy. Whenever you're losing a game, do nothing and make the opponent feel bad to the point where he just resigns. Wait, how, how often does that work? What does the comp say instead of bishop takes f6? Just c4 right away. So you, you, you play the same kind of setup, but you just don't take on f6. I, I don't know. I've become pretty comfortable taking on f6 from a lot of uh, Tory positions. Um, like the, the, the equality the computer says, or even like 0.1 for black, it's not too unusual for me. I just feel very comfortable playing these positions.
because as white, you have just that little extra development. And I think people really underestimate uh, what's going on. So people underestimate it. And I'm looking for just these little precise moments. And I mean, you see it even in this game. Dude basically has this one rook c8 to stay in this game. And as soon as bishop d7, which, you know, it makes sense. Like, don't you don't want to give up the bishop. It makes a lot of sense, but just that one move. And now it becomes very, very difficult to even hold this uh, and and much better for me. So it's, I don't know, I, I really don't mind these positions with just that extra development because I think a lot of people tend to, to underestimate the, the potential problems. Chipsenheimer, it actually worked once. I think the I think the craziest thing I ever had as far as someone resigning was um, I lost against someone a couple times in bullets and I, I I was starting to tilt a little bit and sometimes when I tilt particularly in bullet I just start to play like random nonsense just just for the fun of it just to kind of snap out of it and so I started running the H pawn and and like going for some sort of H six and this guy I don't know why but. He had a bad attitude about life, and uh, he gets in chat. He's like, "Oh, you're losing, so you're gonna you're gonna pretend like you don't take me seriously." I'm like, no, I'm just tilting. Like, <laughs> I'm just tilting. I need to mix it up. But he he says that, and then he plays like a five rook a six and resigns against me. So I'm running the H bond. He plays like a five rook a six. Says, "Oh, you're not gonna take me seriously," and then resigns. Uh, so it was uh, I don't know. Sometimes people are weird, and yeah, maybe you can get them to feel bad and resign. I guess. Ricky, he was fourteen hundred like eight months ago. You're like nineteen hundred right now. Sometimes you hit two thousand. Sometimes go to down to like eighteen hundred. Yeah, that's that's not too unusual if we're trying to hit that next plateau, that up and down. Um. You're thinking after rook c8 you take and then exchange queens. Oh, so you you miss that you could trade in between. I mean, I guess it's still fine even if you let me take on d8, but I could see where this is a bit uh, more concerning, right? To have your king in the middle uh, with rook d1, knight d5. But yeah, the, the in-between queen takes, I think, feels... It just feels a lot better to play this position. Hunt and Chess, you've been in the 2000s for like six to seven years, probably. Really? Kind of stuck there. Yeah, sometimes it can be it can be difficult to break those next plateaus. Oh my gosh, focus. I have to say, my rating has improved from 1600 to 1350 from watching chess dogs. I know I'll be number one soon. Let's go, focus. That's the that's the kind of improvement we can promise. <laughs> uh, you too could lose 250 points. Guaranteed. Uh, Blazing Heart Road to 2000 from 1900 means road to 1800. You're 1700 before I started watching, now I'm 1500 something. Hey, 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 hey. I, uh... Good for you guys. You, 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 you probably don't want to keep that up, but you got this. Easier games. That's that's probably what you're getting, right? Logically. Um oh, I, I got a I gotta challenge seven days. If anyone in chat does want to play, feel free to send me the challenge. Uh, Bra and Dude were on top of it. But it used to be 5,000, I 250 from watching chess dogs. So, hey, I, I, want, I want it noted, though. I want, I want to th throw it out here. I have, since, since we've been streaming, I have broken all my highest ratings on chess.com. Uh, on the chess dogs bullet, I, I broke 3,000. On my blitz, I just hit 2850 in title Tuesday, this last Tuesday, which was my highest. So 
if <laughs> if we're, if we're going to keep going down the path, I guess I'm like just stealing your guys's uh <laughs> energy. <laughs> uh there you go. Roro Roro's been on top of the of the watching and and gone up from 2000 to 2200. Blazing Heart, you did you did uh break higher and puzzles. That's really good. Anybody been actually the background quickly? How is how are the, the, the world puzzle battle going? Speaking of puzzles. Uh, I don't know. I was trying to pull it up, the video, but it's just, uh, it's just Danny talking, which doesn't, doesn't tell me too much. Ooh, Blazing, you beat a 2200 today. Very nice. Roro's been following for four months. Stockfish for three months. Nice, nice. I realize I was supposed to play the Karakon, Sinister. I, I realize that as I am not playing it, but we'll get there one day. <laughs> I got distracted by... <laughs> hey, Focus. Uh, announcing announcing his presence. Wait, Bishop C4 is not a move, is it? Was he... What's going on here? Um, I'm not worried about E5. I have uh, Knight G4 and, and pick up the pawn. Yeah, still have knight g4. Okay. Let's go d6, aim for bishop g4. Gypsenheimer, you can try your you can try your secret stat on me. Oh wow, in the background, Jeffrey and Pranov just advanced in round four of the puzzle championship. Jospum is the most noticeable one notable one i mean noticeable one i guess too that got eliminated gambling no gambling we do not have we do not have gambling set up no and this is crazy if i go here he takes i take he takes and we both end up sacking uh just like exchanging two pieces for a rook in a very roundabout way but his is more effective because he gets a pawn. Yes, we do have a chess.com club right there. Uh, I think my highest puzzle rush in three minutes is, is 48. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's never been something I've, I've put too much time into, to grinding. So that's an excuse and I'm going to stand by it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, these, those guys still very, very impressive and, and just how fast they're able to solve them. Ray Robson's an absolute maniac. Andy Woodward I saw from the event too was popping off pretty well. So it's, it's it's it was a fun event. I was watching it. Uh, I thought the format was a bit strange. <clears throat> I thought it was a bit strange in uh, when they got to the top twenty, whereas like they're eliminating the top three, and then it switches at some point to where like they're eliminate or they're eliminating the bottom three. Excuse me, eliminating the bottom three, and then they switch from like eliminating the bottom three to uh, letting the top two advance. While also still eliminating the bottom three. And yeah, just all around kind of interesting. Um I'm worried about some forking ideas here. <laughs> I think I need to go here and then I just need to take with a pawn. Yeah, 48 for 
3.75 seconds per puzzle. Yeah, I'm just... Ah, I've got to be faster. i got to be faster. That is the challenge. I don't know what he's doing. But we're just going to... We're going to avoid any sort of checking ideas that are coming soon. That's uh, that's your survival record. I feel offended. I'm sorry. I apologize. I didn't mean to offend. Yeah, it's getting well. That's the thing. Like, uh, I I was I was actually trying to pay attention when I was watching it. I was trying to pay attention to the earlier puzzles more than the later puzzles. Because I, you know, I already know that like in, in bullets, <clears throat> um, <clears throat> I feel pretty good at bullet, but I definitely still feel that I'm slower compared to some of these other guys. And so I was watching their, their earlier puzzles just to say, okay, these are simple puzzles. These are puzzles I see. I like I see those pretty quickly. They see those pretty quickly, but how how fast are they actually playing it? And for the most part, they are definitely playing them faster than me. Like even those earlier puzzles. Gambit upon. I don't know if I can gambit upon at this stage, but I'll I'll, I'll try in a future game. I think I strangely trapped his bishop on e7. I mean, I'm gonna get two pieces for the rook. I think. Rick Henrich just joined the doghouse. Ooh. Oh, no, because he... Never fear, we have increment, actually. This is one of the rare occasions where I am playing an incremented game. Two seconds, plenty of time. I'm not stressed. A bit annoyed this queen is actually a super important defender for him right now. That was such a bad move. What the heck? Knight c7. He takes here. That was such a bad move. Two seconds, plenty of time. Immediately blunders. Wow, lovely. Look, I, I uh, gambited. <laughs> no, <it's... laughs> Ugh. Okay, actually, I think I think a queen trade here is 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 a bit of a lifesaver for me. Um, I mean, not that I'm not losing, but if if I had to play low on time with queens and how open my king was, I think that would have been a nightmare. I'm gonna try and open stuff. Over on the king side, some sort of counterplay. Try. See how, how, how it goes. <laughs> Back and forth with the annoying checks. Ooh, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Because living is good and dying is not as good. Uh, the sad part is, at some point, he should just sack, or he just mates me. Yeah. Yeah, that's just me. Ah, dang it. Dang it. Yeah, Danya and, yeah, they're, Danya, um, 
Danya and, and Penguin GM absolutely are are really fast. And uh I, I don't know. I feel like what I'm really good at when it comes like I, I can play decently fast, I can calculate decently fast, but I feel like what I'm really good at when it comes to bullet is uh prediction. Like I feel pretty good at predicting what my opponent's gonna do. And I, I save a lot of time over other people just because of that. Uh especially when it comes to those those uh moments where we're both just trying to flag each other so i you know i feel what is he doing what is this opening what this is a free pawn is it not this is a free pawn you, 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 what is happening here what are we doing my guy oh i probably even had this as like even better i was just selling the zone <laughs> predict the opponent meanwhile what is he doing well how am i supposed to predict this free stuff uh i i do play fortnite i haven't been playing a ton lately um i haven't loved the the latest i enjoyed the og season quite a bit Yeah, but it's one. Oh, sorry. It's uh, okay. Okay, I, 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 I got a little. I got a little into wanting to destroy this guy. I got a little into wanting to destroy this guy and everything he stands for, but I will work on it. Could you repeat that? I don't think I listened to correctly. Oh no, just just me having some friendly banter. Wait, is there something I should be noticing? Why is why is he taking so long? Is rook is do I have something after rook h8 that's like deadly? I was just gonna. Okay. What the? I mean, it's. Actually, let's start. I mean, like my position or my opponent's keeping a a. a like an okay enough position that it's not it's not like i i i um completely i'm completely off the hook for having to think here but i i, I this this whole game's been weird i feel like in the nicest way possible i feel like i'm playing a completely different opponent right now Weird. Okay, I think we can I think we can just start to trade here. Capture there. Check. Go for the trade. Wait, he took with the queen? This is, I don't, sorry, I don't want to be, I don't want to be as speechless as I am, but I, I, I don't know. This is, this, it was weird. It was weird. Just the, the whole game just it was weird. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know if my opponent just slipped. Slipped the pawn here, and then from there, just kind of got in their head. But 
yeah, it was just after after such an intense game. Yes, last last game, it just felt very very different vibe. Which is, yeah, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what to, I don't know what to make of it honestly. Like uh, as you guys can tell, I'm just I I honestly am just so speechless because it was it was like su it's such a shift. Like my opponent like really really played such a such a nice game, held well put a lot of pressure on me and this game just felt uh e easy um which which is yeah it's just strange just very strange so maybe they just they, they you know what happens they just got a bit in their head after the pawn blunder and we got it gambit two pawns next game yeah last game was cooking magnus now this is sleeping magnus kind of yeah all right, Pablo with the challenge. I need to gambit two pawns. Hey, Kroll, how you doing? Mm, what's a what's a good way to gambit pawns? Here, e four. Okay. E five, d four. How are we? I think okay. I think I. Um, I played, I played the, the normal Magnus, uh, six, four really wanted me to, and was like redeeming everything he could think of to get me to play. Um, I guess I'm just going to keep pushing pawns till a couple of them drop. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. And I, I was hoping he would let me play like a three Oh time control. Cause I felt like. With the bots, that's probably where I have a fairly decent chance. And 6-4 just wanted me to lose, so he's like, no, uh, you need to play 5-5. Five, five. And so I did, yeah, I did lose. Um, but that's the only Magnus bot I've played thus far. Okay. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Um... Pushing the bonds. Pushing the bonds. Okay, that's one pawn. I kind of want to gambit a third pawn though. If like if he takes on g four, I'm I'm tempted to play h five. But I guess I maybe I should just take my my first gambited pawn. We count that. We got we got one. And if he takes on g4, I, I probably should just take back. I think uh, gambiting a third pawn is not going to go well for me. All right. Now, okay, maybe we could do it, though. Maybe we could do it. It's possible. Have I ever played the real Magnus? I have beaten the real Magnus. Uh, not beaten. Played, sorry. I've drawn the real Magnus. So the bots are kind of better. What can I say? They're kind of good. Played the real Magnus. Played the bot Magnus. Bot Magnus kind of kind of better. Ooh, you beat the soccer Magnus. Nice. I heard uh I heard all the Magnuses are are pretty savage. You know what? Is this actually I I kinda like this, strangely enough. King E2. Put my king on on D3. Solid. Block this pawn. And uh, just help cover some squares. Ooh, trying to play Shaft Magnus right now. Ricky, good luck, good luck. Don't let him trash talk you too much. Don't let him cook. What, what do you mean, what is this position? I was trying to gambit pawns. <laughs> And we got here. This is very clear. I've gambited my two pawns. You see this? You see this plus two up there? I gambited it. I gambited the pawns, and here we are. Perfect gambit. Look at my positional advantage now. I got a. I got a nice knight. I got a open square here. I'm gonna. I'm gonna break through. Break through. 
and uh, win. So definitely not watching the clock at all. That would be that would just be dumb to to gambit pawns for a time advantage and then and then uh, utilize that. But I might be. I might be. Gypsenheimer, you lost the sleeping Magnus on accident. You know, I sometimes I feel like uh those 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 sleeping those well just bots in general, even if they're technically bad, they still have a sense of taking advantage of your mistakes more so than than humans. Like they'll make mistakes definitely, you know, beatable, especially if they have the lower rating. But when you make a mistake, sometimes I feel like they're like, yeah, okay, now it's checkmate. Um, sorry. Try again next time. All right, let's really shut this down. C5. Knight D6. Come on, look at this. Look how good this position is. And the king, king comes in finally. We've got one of the pawns back. King is... Coming in, rook b1, little check here, little check there. Take the rook. Okay, this is this is a forced move, so we're gonna play it. GG's. GG's. Okay, I wanna take a look actually. What's the <laughs> Okay, wait, where does the evaluation get good for me? Look at this, completely equal. See, what a gambit. Two pawns down, completely equal. What a gambit. King on d3, never underestimate. Uh, apparently b5 at multiple or b6 just wants you to push the b pawn so much, Pablo. But yeah, I mean, here completely equal. <laughs> Chess pigeons, how you doing? Silly rabbit pawn tick for kids, pretty much. With bots, you never know. They play one ridiculous blunder, then three three very precise moves in a row, even the lower rated ones. Yeah, like if if anyone remembers the good old ICC days with uh, like JS Bach and stuff, um, JS Bach was one of those, or Strong Bach. Strong Bach in particular. Strong Bach was one of those that would play like an absolute, just like garbage. Just move all their pieces out, maybe blunder a piece or two. And then every now and then, freaking Strong Bach turns it up to like 20. And and I've had games where, like I, Strong Bach, if I'm careful, I could be probably like 10 in a row. Um, but then you have these occasions where Strongbach would turn it up to 20 and just demolish me. Absolutely eat me alive. And it's rather unfortunate. All right. I don't know if I'm doing any of this right. But, you know, I, I, I've, I've seen enough Caro that I, I feel like this is roughly the idea. Roughly. And so we're rolling with it. I'm I'm not sure not taking on e6 was the thing here. That's just I know there are some lines where you take on e6 that are really bad for black, so I just decided not to. Checker chats. No, not check chess dogs. There we go. <laughs> uh checker cats. I've never heard that one before. That's that's good. Once blundered my queen three times in a row, went on to do it a fifth time in that game. He just didn't want your queen. That's very rude. I mean, after you offered so kindly. All right now. Now we check. Now we check to get 94 and try and cover some of these light squares. I'm feeling pretty bad about my position, if I'm being honest. Um, yeah, yeah, it, it, I feel like it could be much, much better than, than anything that's happening right now, but 
We're going to try and make the best of it, as we always do. Try and pick up the pace a little bit. Because that's important. Got to keep a good, keep a good pace. Hmm. That light squared bishop's just so darn annoying. Ugh. My dark squared bishop's kind of garbage. Keep a good pace, he says. Play quickly, he says. Welcome to the Hypocrites channel, where I don't do anything that I say. I just sit here and take lots of time. Uh, I, let's, I, I don't know. I didn't even think this through. I was, I mean, I thought about it a little bit, but. <laughs> Focus. What the heck? <laughs> Uh. Whoa, guys. Okay, hold on. If none of you are following the the puzzle championship right now, I I I had it pulled up in the background and I got I just took a I took a quick glance. I'm pretty sure this is like people close to getting eliminated and it's like Andrew Tang, Hans Neiman, Hikaru, and Jimmy, Jimenez. Like, four absolute legends on the chopping. And Christopher Yu is the fifth one. What the heck? Like, those are the five that are left. Those are the five that are left. That's, that's ridiculous. What is the format? No one actually understands the format. Uh, row, row. Um, it's, I don't know. It's kind of funky. The, the qualifying, the qualifying stages, they took the top. So first of all, you had to, I think, get a 50, like, uh, on stream was, was just to, 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 to have a chance. And then anyone that got a 50 gets to play and they took the top 20, uh, finishers. And those, uh, those were the ones that went into sort of the knockout stage. And then it was like the first round, the first round of the knockout stage was just bottom three, get eliminated straight up. Uh, and then they moved to this bottom two or top two advance, bottom three, get eliminated. And, oh, okay. Okay, Pablo, I see you trying to, trying to bullet me out right now. That's typically my strategy. I respect it. Whoa, I don't know what's going on here, but I'm just, uh, we're, we're moving back and we're going for the flag. To emphasize, that's just usually my strategy. Hey, hey. Um, yeah, so they knocked the bottom three out, then it was top two advanced, bottom three eliminated. And I think, or maybe it was always top two advanced. Maybe I just missed that. That would make sense. Now I'm confused, but it was some it was something like that. The 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 bottom three eliminated, top two advanced, and they just kind of kept doing it. It's it's a lot of puzzles. Like it's a bit it's a bit it's a bit interesting because it's been going on so long, and and they're kind of just doing the same thing, right? Like they just keep doing three minute puzzle rushes and trying to get the best score they can. Which I understand, like that is that is what it is, and then they get into the battles tomorrow. But it was—I uh, feel like it's just a way for them to kind of drag it out a bit. Okay, that was scary, Pablo. I'll give you another. <laughs> Chipsenheimer, you're you're digging the Fortnite. Nice. Ooh, Ricky, it got you. It got you. 
Didn't want to be the streamer to be. Ugh. Yeah. Man, that's crazy though. Like when they, I want to say when they were first doing the the world, the puzzle world championship. Uh, Jimmy's was kind of like that. Um, um, I mean, he knew if you had been following puzzles a bit, but he was like that uh, more unknown outside of puzzles. That was an absolute legend. And I want to say went up against Ray Robson for the finals. And, and now he may not even, like, he is on the chopping block, the, the checking block. He is bottom three. Him, Andrew Tang, and Hikaru are looking to be eliminated here with Hans Neiman, Neiman and Christopher Yu probably going to advance. Hey, Legit Tactics, how's it going? Dang, it's almost 1.30 here. Time flies by when you're streaming, I tell you. Um, Actually, kind of on that point with time flying by, I, I put it in the title. We did it. We did it last week. But for those in chat, how interested are you guys in doing a midday arena? We did it last week. It was pretty good, but last week I think a lot of people were still on Christmas break. So let me know. If you're in chat, you're interested in doing a Blitz Arena. Then let me know. I think we can do this. I hate giving up that bishop because it's it's still nice, but oh okay. We got uh few people interested in an arena lima how's it going yeah so this was the trick this is why this works with the yeah a little sneaky rapid um probably not rapid because for arenas it's just like that's a really tough format um uh, but like a three two so like a you know it's not three one it's that little bit longer with the two second increment how about 60 plus 30? Freaking dude. How about not that one? How about we just don't? <laughs> Do 60 plus. Uh, 24 hour arena. Uh, 60 plus 30. Good luck. Uh, I'll have to fly, but should be. Hmm. What am I feeling? What am I feeling? What are we feeling for the arena name? 60 seconds plus 30 microseconds. No, we I, I'll do I'll do unrated for for arenas. It's it's a more comfortable that way. Hmm. <laughs> Let's do a checker cats arena. <laughs> oh, jeez. You never know. Chess Dog's doing a Checker Cats arena. Has a player, wait, chess.com has a player with 134 and three minute rush. <laughs> Bot, not legit. You are jealous. Yeah, 134. I don't think a human could move that fast. Like, even if you knew the tactics, God, like, I wonder if you. That would be interesting. If you could do like a set puzzle rush, it would be interesting to see who could get the fastest. Just.com, how about that? Set puzzle rush. Like have, have a few set ones. Straight up Jinjin, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I know I would be jealous of 134. Uh, I, Danny, Danny, I don't know how serious he was, but I know Danny was talking on stream about possibly doing it. About doing a, like a, a computer puzzle battle championship thing. Jimmy has 68. Yeah. And he's about to get eliminated. 68 is crazy. 
you know, they were talking about it, and and I do agree. I mean, yeah, as a record. Wait, that's his three minute, right? Like they were talking about it, and and Danny was like, I don't know. I feel like it's just the competition is is stiffer uh, this year, and that's why we're not seeing as break out of a performance from Jimmy. And I'm like, I, I don't know. Like I'm, I it's been a minute since I've looked at Jimmy, but if sixty eight is his record, and he's about to get eliminated, that I mean, cause cause what you need like uh you'd need a fifty six right now. Or if you got a consistent 56, you you wouldn't be getting eliminated. Uh Jimmy, Jimmy or Jimes, Jimes, I don't I don't know how you say it, but he's like a he's like a puzzle expert. Um puzzle rush expert. I don't know if he he is is he even in FM? I'm not positive. Uh, okay, the arena has been created. It is pinned. Three, two, one hour arena. You have to go join the club in order to join the arena. And then we will be set to start in 30 minutes. Yeah, Ray Ray is still the GOAT. I think Ray qualified for the, the battles pretty pretty easily. But, you know, when they first did the puzzle battle, it was, I mean, it was Ray and it was Jimmy. It was Ray and Jimmy. Arenas are no fun without Tony. Ah, Mr. President, I wish Tony was here. But I'm sure he's uh, attending to family stuff and probably getting ready for tomorrow. Speaking of... I think uh, I think we're doing the the tonight's stream earlier because we have a flight tomorrow morning. Can I get away with this? No, because he has ninety seven. But this I am no. Yeah, let's take with the queen. I'm hitting here and here. Bishop f three, queen b five. Cut off the castle. Yeah, the Swiss format is much coolio, more coolio. We tried to do, we tried to do a Swiss, or not, I mean, not arena, but a Swiss tournament, dude. And uh, people didn't seem to enjoy it as much. Sadly. GP, how's it going, bishops? I know that's not what you're trying, but we're going to say, sup, bishops. <laughs> well, that's lame. <laughs> I uh, yeah, it is. I'm sorry. We'll we'll have to try it again sometime. Maybe maybe, I mean, cause the midday arena was your idea, so maybe we'll have to try like a midday Swiss experiment. You know. Okay. I think I want my queen on f5. Don't want to get it trapped. McCavs, you can challenge me before the arena. Uh, the arena starts in 30 minutes. I'm, you know, Pablo here. We're just chilling. We're just playing right now. But if you want to jump in, that is perfectly fine as well. Where is... Where's my tactics? Somebody find me my tactics! It's actually go rook c8. Rook g5 is nice. I like it. Trying to bring that rook to defend. Swiss format allows for me to grind out on games for 5 million years. Dang. 5 million, huh? That's a lot of years. That's That's a few years, yeah. But I think that was part of the challenge, though, dude, in doing Swiss is people would finish their games quickly, 
and then they they'd go be looking at other things and i know like with seattle seattle had a couple of games that he just missed because he finished and then he went to look at something else and just uh got caught not ready for the arena and so it didn't pair him okay it's not a checkmate but we got a fork No, the, the Swiss format's like a tournament. So instead of an arena where you just keep playing games, you all get paired, and then you play the one round and maybe seven rounds or so. Oh, wait, we have no increment. Shoot. Pause. Wait, pause. We got to try hard. We got to try hard for a second because I'm like about to flag. What the heck? Who put me in charge of this time control? Poor decision. Poor decisions were made. Woo! Scary. Yeah, we've got two players in the arena so far. Gamby, thank you for the follow. Uh, no, this channel is not a UGA reference. There, I think there, I mean, there probably is some other chess dogs out there, but it was just, uh, it was the name. Matt was the OG. Well, no, he, I don't know who was the OG. I mean, it, it, we got it from Matt, one of the other chess dogs as a part of it, but. He got it from like a group chat that was called that. So I don't know who whoever named the chat there. Um, Baldwin, SS. You're are you McKev? McKev, because I think you were the first one to ask. And then Kroll is also challenging me. All right, y'all should go join the arena. Twenty six minutes should be a jam. Will it be good? Yes. We absolutely can play. I'm going to be accepting challenges until we hit the arena. And then I'll have probably, you know, another 30 minutes after the arena that I'll accept challenges. So, uh, GP Bear, we did stream all three of us this last Sunday. And we will probably be all three streaming at the Charlotte Open, which we leave for tomorrow. A 30 plus 20 Swiss would get all the LFT dudes. That's such a long time control. GP, you just had the best Taco Bell. Nice. I enjoy me a good Taco Bell every now and then. The, the freaking uh, Baja Blast. Mountain Dew Baja Blast makes Taco Bell. All right, this is my blitz line here in the Maroxy Queen B6 A5. Whoa. Yeah, Baja Blast hard carries. It's uh it's a jam. Some cold Baja Blasts. Yeah. Yeah, Christopher Yu and Hans qualify for the puzzle battles tomorrow. Uh, I think it's Queen B4. Yeah, Ray Robson is the puzzle goat. That's kind of what's what what's what's Ray Robson's top three minute? Like his absolute top of all time. It's sixty nine. <laughs> no, Vicky. I feel like you've been waiting all stream for someone to ask that. You're just like boom. <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. Thank you. 69. No, that, I mean, that, that makes sense. If uh, Jimmy's is 68, 69, <laughs> the mean number, but yeah. You got to hate it when they, it's okay. 
let's you all remember when uh Carlson qualified first for the world championship many moons ago him and Kramnik were tied going into the last round and both lost their last round that last round happens to be on April Fool's Day so many people thought it was a joke so many people thought chess.com just be messing you know chess 24 is just messing but no, they actually both lost their last rounds in the candidates, and Carlson ended up qualifying. Uh, but it was, uh, yeah, it was like the timing on that. You just, you can't, you can't make that stuff up. You has fifty eight as top. Wow, you that's good then. If his fifty eight's his top, and he just qualified with the fifty six, that's impressive. Was that to play a nond? Yes. Yeah, that was to play a nond. Back when 2013, I think. Hey, you can never underestimate the 800s. Pretty good. Robson is gonna see, but that's the thing. That's that's what's tough about this format. Is like, what if what if uh, what if Robson just has like a bad puzzle battle, or like I don't fully know what the format is because I don't think anybody actually does. Um, but you kind of know, like if if Robson's not in the final, he just had maybe a bad day, but he's still the goat, right? He has the top score. He puts up the most consistent. He was the only one that got a sixty in the, the qualifying, the first qualifier, like, he's just so unbelievably good. So it's kind of, it's kind of an interesting event. Wait, dude, 128 hosts the 630 Swiss. Oh, wait, what the heck? Uh, did you, dude, did you just change your account? Did you, uh, did you just, your username is good now. Well, you're you're at least locked into that username for two months. So, I uh I hope you're committed to it. That's for sure. All right? Yeah. Let's just trade queens. I thought it was. You thought it was six months. I don't know. Maybe because. Maybe because I changed mine for the first time. It said it told me two months. <laughs> but nice, nice. How much free time do you have? Uh, yeah, sixty thirty. Don't get me wrong; I enjoy a good, a good long time control. But committing myself for that, uh, two hours or plus. I mean, with the thirty second increment, is uh, yeah. Mm hmm. Something that I just say, I love that journey for you. It's not typically gonna be for me. <laughs> A right, little knight maneuver, and then bring the bishop out, and with the extra pawn, I think we're starting to chill. Oh, knight b4. Hit him with the knight d3. GG's, GG's. All right, Kroll with the challenge ready to go. Bye, Hikaru. Wait, was that? Oh, tell me that was Hans that said that. In the background, what do we get? Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez, he's waving goodbye. Bye bye. Wow, what a. I wish they see you tomorrow, but you didn't make it, buddy. Oh, jeez. I would say see you tomorrow, but you didn't make it, buddy. Oh, freaking. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, it's funny, like moments like that, or I, I think what Danny was saying is exactly why you don't see more of these top guys playing because puzzle, puzzle rushes are a completely different thing. And you have someone like Hikaru that's typically going to destroy someone like Hans, but all of a sudden is, uh, is getting trolled by Hans because it's a puzzle rush. I mean, Hans is good. Hans could play pretty well against Ikaro, but you know, let's let's be real. 
Han's typically qualifying in just about anything over Hikaru. Is not overly likely, but you know, now now Hans gets to troll him. Whoa, whoa, JP Bear. JP Bear heard bad stuff about me. What? <laughs> Robson, Anand, Aronian, and Sarah one are the four players I've never heard anything about. Anything bad about. Um Yes, Aronian, he's my favorite, so that's good to hear. I I have had a, I will say my first impression of Anand was not overly positive, but overall, uh, yes, he seems like a very stand-up, I mean, that Subway commercial was the last thing I saw about Anand, and that was, that was fantastic. And obviously, the impact he's made in India, I have a ton of respect for. Yeah, the only moment he could say that he grabbed the chance. That's it's it's still pretty funny though. I'm not I'm not gonna lie. Such a troll. One game before the arena, MB. Let's do it. Let's do it. How, where in my brain was I winning material? I don't know. A lot of things just got traded, and now we're in this position, and I, I don't know. Let's let's play this end game. Let's activate the king and play this end game. That's fine. I, I enjoy myself a good end game. Start with a6. Did hear Aronian got in a fight. Over his fiance once, but that wasn't his fault. What? Please join the arena. I want a rematch. I just haven't forgiven. Yeah, yeah, now, dude, you have a blue username color. I'm uh, very quickly, I'm, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna start thinking you're someone else, dude. Keep up, keep this up. Uh. Wait, can I join the arena mid game? Look, I can. No, I can read it. Uh, not a fan of the purple. Right, I can't say my end game technique thus far has been fantastic, but I think it's all gonna come together. I think it's all gonna come together. We got a couple of points we can possibly target, which is where you can sneak out positions like this. And an active king also opens up some decent opportunities. Like, my calculation is garbage. Any tips other than puzzles by a calculator? Easy. Okay, I'm happy I'm happy to note that GP Bear didn't have any bad stuff that uh, they've heard about me. Whew. I was worried. Glad that stuff's not out there. Oh, wait, wait, scroll. The rook all the way across the board. Yeah, I was the one that told us about someone posting an accuser to a blog post. That's true. I did. I did say that. But I, I don't, I mean, don't, I don't particularly, uh, What's the you've never heard anything bad about? I don't I don't particularly feel like that's a bad thing for me personally. I mean I I don't I don't I didn't love the accusations. I don't love that they put uh, actually a lot of effort into something like that. But I, I I sort of hope that that shows more poorly on them than it shows on me. They accused uh, me of match well. I don't know if it was me, my parents, the people I played. Uh, accused 
Uh, it's been a long time since I've I've read, but basically match fixing, uh, paying people to throw games so I could gain rating and be the top in the country, uh, which you know opens up so many sponsorships for chess because chess is just rolling in the sponsorships and whatnot. I always knew you were fake GM. I mean, this was back. It was really when I was about what twenty two. 12250 USDF. And in theory, it was just playing games against the other top players in Utah. So I didn't always have to travel out of state. Like I could get decent enough games here in Utah. And, um, you know, it seemed good in theory, but I did, I, I did very, very, very well. And, uh, yeah, I, I kind of won the things and so no i i do understand i do understand that it did it did look pretty bad but it looked pretty bad because um i mean never would have expected that i i would win all the games like that was so far from anticipation so when it happened it's like yeah it looks bad but obviously that wasn't planned <laughs> and if it if, if to their point it was planned uh it would be really stupid to plan that uh there's there's uh yeah i'm gonna end there <laughs> there's smarter ways to do this okay that's all i gotta yeah that was that was really i i it really was like i just i just won too much and i agreed it looked bad and and you know i kind of understand if anyone wanted to reach out to uscf and say, like, you guys should look into that. I perfectly would have understood that. Um, but they, as far as I understand, didn't report it to USCF and instead just took to a blog where they put a decent amount of effort into hiding who they were. Uh, and wasn't just about the games. They ended up going after uh, pretty much every aspect of me. So it was... Uh, yeah, and then I became a GM, so. <laughs> it's like, um, yeah, well, uh, GG's, GG's, Curl. You played you played uh, very well in the beginning. I, I don't know if I played this perfectly. I, I don't know. Yeah, I guess Rookie 5 wasn't technically the best. All right, MB3-2 before the arena. A little warm-up. If you haven't joined the arena yet... Please go join. They were jealous of your monster equipment. <laughs> Ugh, there we go. Um, the arena link is pinned. I'll, I'll, I'll throw it in chat here again. And then you have to be in our club. Oh. Oh. Um... Yeah, it's uh yeah, the whole thing was was just kind of disappointing and it was kind of it was kind of I don't remember exactly when it was released, but it was also released around the time that I I uh took second at the World Youth Chess Championships, which it was also like okay, maybe it looks bad, but like I just went to World Championships and you know, took second for my age, so I didn't I didn't feel like I had I felt like I needed to prove a little bit, but I also felt like uh, pretty good about myself. Felt pretty okay. Oh, dude, ban someone from the Horde World Championship for spreading bad propaganda on their profile, and they wrote an anti-dude128 blog. I considered it a thing to be proud of, although Lee Chess removed it, so I no longer have proof. Wow, that's crazy. What the heck? Dude, uh, I mean, isn't the, the Horde World Championships where you also banned, or is that the guy that you banned, like one of the top guys, and then he went and like started helping out other people? Oh, it's the same dude. Ah, okay. It's all coming together. Like, who knew? 
it was horde would be such a controversial variation. I'm adding to the lore. Yeah, line by line, I'm I'm getting uh getting the picture of this guy. A whole sinister's in the arena. I've got a good old. Wait a second. Wait a second with the bishop, but your queen is pinned, my guy. Thunderbolt. What a chance to beat some high-level players. Stockfish, yes. It's pretty. It's pretty. It's pretty decently strong arena. <laughs> Ugh. You got this stock, I believe. I believe. Just don't let them swindle you. Watch out for the the rook e six checkmates. You're kind of way down, way down to play some amazing chess, right? So down for it. That's what you're saying. Not beating me today. Get him. Get him. Stock. Get him. You can't take that crap from Roro. Cruel. Uh, Cruel, I will not, unfortunately, have time for another game with the arena coming up. Unless you want to play like a, a one minute game. Da -da -da -da. One minute. Nice. You should also join the arena, Kroll. It would be fantastic to have you in here. Uh, on another note, did anyone read the article about Nepo just talking about all the recent stuff? The night dances and the Carlson private room and the wardrobe fine. And it was interesting. It was just Nepo's take on it. Uh, I didn't realize that the night dance. But OK, I didn't realize a couple of things. Apparently, they have audio with Dubov. <laughs> yeah, Blazing Heart, pretty much. No, they have audio of Dubov and Nepo talking before the game. So apparently, it like, it, it definitely... I mean, I didn't listen to the audio, but I kind of assumed that it was... The audio they had definitely proved it was a, a prearranged thing with the Knights. Like, actual recorded proof of that. Um, So that was interesting. I also didn't realize that them doing that in the beginning, the, their little night dance draw, was was a form of protest uh, just against FIDE and some of the things that they were doing. And, and um, I, I actually felt like he had a decent point there. Um, because in particular, one thing he brought up was the fact that it was a FIDE-run tournament and that the appeals committee... <laughs> was 100% made up of FIDE people. And so I, I, I thought that was, that was kind of a fair point. And I do agree, like, you, you, you probably shouldn't run the tournament, make the decisions, and then have the appeal committee still be you. That's typically not how that's supposed to work or how you're supposed to do that. So I actually thought that was a fair point. Yeah, night dance, night dance, the draw. <laughs> oh gosh, you guys. It's not the Botas sisters. Um yeah, just kind of a, a a nice peaceful protest. And uh I don't know. Put a put a different light on it. Okay, Kroll, send me your one minute challenge. Let's do it before. Yeah. Um, what else? Oh yeah. Carlson's private room. Apparently, cause Originally, when I saw it, some some I think the article was was mentioning the fact that 
uh, Carlson has had a private room at these world championships since like 2016. And Nepo actually contacted the organizers before about that, saying like, "No, like the it should be fair for all contestants." Maybe others did as well, but he he was told, and they insisted that it would be that there would be no private room for any individual, and so that's why it became such a big deal. Am I retired from classical, Mister? Empyrean. I played in a classical tournament back in October, and yes, me and the other two chess dogs, we are going to the Charlotte Open. We leave tomorrow. I'm not. Roro, I think I actually saw your comment about that. I'm not shaving my head. There will be no shaving based on placement at this tournament. I reject on stream in front of you all any sort of any form of shaving based on my results at charlotte oh you didn't take the rook oh okay well that's fair i didn't even pre-move that like i was literally hovering over just in case <laughs> Oh, geez. And then, yeah, who knows? Brain. GG's, GG's. Arena starting in two minutes. Two minutes. If you're not in this arena yet, let's go. Blazing Heart, you shaved your head yesterday. It's, it's, it, some people can pull it off. It's not my favorite look. Yeah, Curl, it was the right decision. And, and I, I, Kroll, I, I literally was hovered, like, I, I'm like, he might not take it. I hovered my rook, I didn't pre-move it, and then, I don't know, you moved your rook and my brain said, let go of the piece anyways. <laughs> uh, my peak rating, um, I mean, this is my peak rating for any time control right here, this 3000, 3001, a minute and a half for the arena to start. Let's go. Oh, people, people coming in now. Got 11 people in the arena. It's not too late. Yeah, Kroll, you, you, playing, you played uh, both those games very well that we played. Rengon, some other games, if two players in a Swiss turn don't want to play for a result, perhaps both clinch a certain money level, the players can just agree to a draw without even playing the game. Draw agreed. No game slash farce played. Interesting. Interesting. I'm trying to think how I feel about that. Like, what if we did just accept it? Like, if we just accepted the draws. Because they, they're going to happen, right? People know how to repeat if they want. As another GM, I don't know. I had uh, Manu. He was an FM. I think he's the highest rated player that's challenged me. But I don't know. I don't think... Uh, I had another FM. I feel like I have had an IM. I'm not sure if I've had another GM. Come on and challenge me. But I, I feel like I'm forgetting someone. Roro, I already know you don't know this. <laughs> We've been down this road before. I think I played D6 here. Good luck. Good luck, everybody. I think Dubov is the best Blitz player in the world at this point. That performance was insane. He would have tied Magnus. He would have tied Magnus. Dubov... I don't know, is is has always been an amazing blitz player, but I feel like he's he's kind of flown under the radar because I mean he hasn't been in like the speed chess championships, right? Or some of these other uh big faster time control events. At least I don't think he has. But maybe I'm just forgetting. Uh, 
da da da. What was I thinking here? I was thinking. Oh. Phone is dropping off the table. That's not typically how you should treat your phone. I was thinking that doesn't actually hang on my knight. Is knight g4 actually a good move? I think it is. With tricks. With all the tricks, knight g4, discovery on the rook. And if he takes e7, we got ideals. Magnus would have pushed for another half point if someone was tied with him in points. That, that's definitely possible. Like, it's 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 easy to say in retrospect that, oh, Dubov, if he hadn't gotten forfeited, would have tied for first. But you never know, right? Dubov might not have played as well. He might not have gotten as many points uh, without the forfeit. As strange as that, that sounds to say, like, there's definitely still some truth in that. Um, how just some of those results can, can affect things. But oh, I want to go for knight takes f2. I want to go for knight takes f2 so badly. I feel like it's good. I just don't know if it's great. Uh, not positive it's great. Just like Frosted Flakes. We want them when they're great. Okay, I'm going to go for it. I might regret this. I might regret this. But I'm going to go for it. Hopefully I don't regret this. I prefer not regretting my chess moves most of the time. Okay, I thought that move definitely didn't work, though. I thought you had to play rook e3. Because now queen takes b2 is kind of nasty. Yeah. And, okay, we have liftoff, no. All right, I think we take Not sure this was the best way to go about trying to take advantage, but that's okay. We'll make it work. Um, the other thing I didn't realize until reading this article where Nepo was talking about everything that I, I actually do agree looks really, I think it's just really, really bad on FIDE is they didn't end up forfeiting Dubov and Nepo until the next round. I, I, I think it was something like 90 minutes or so after, after they drew like some, some crazy amount of time. And why can't I just take free stuff? Um, so, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I kind of said before that I understood why they forfeited. I, I, I do see the, the sort of negative vibe of drawing like that and it does feel prearranged but I, I just think all around fide didn't handle it very well it's okay we weren't using that piece we weren't using that piece anyways let's go for the attack against the king Check here, a threat here. We'll definitely have to check the, the analysis of this game after. 
Whoa, Yisk, Yisk, already on two wins. What the heck? I'm slacking here. I'm slacking. I think it's time to replace V Day. Uh, yeah, but when they take get rid of term limits, uh, anyways, <laughs> things could be better. Let, let's. <laughs> Uh, things definitely, definitely could be better. GG's, bro, bro. Okay, let's go check this. I, I felt a little bit... Ah, rookie three, it is point eight. I was hoping with queen takes b2, getting a rook and two pawns with an open king, like, like, take take this that I would have and I guess I do I mean it's 0.5 I do have some compensation for the two pieces but and it thinks I should have just taken on a1 right away all lame like wow king g1 only 0.5 wow what an interesting game what an interesting interesting game okay I need to jump back I gotta I gotta catch up to use here Wait, are we on an odd number? By looking, oh shoot, we are on an odd number. <laughs> by by pausing to look at that game, I just I just made myself the person that's got to wait. <laughs> uh, nice. It's okay, we're chilling. Imagine a world championship event that included the best player. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, if if we're talking like trying to change the world championship format. I don't think it's gonna happen. I mean, look look at the women's world championship cycle. Uh, one year it's the same as the overall. One year it's a knockout tournament. Like I, I don't know. It's <laughs> it's weird. It's weird. Like I don't know why there's even a difference in in the qualification. Oh, we got dude. Ah ha ha ha. Good luck. <laughs> Feel feel afraid I'm playing a3 against you. See now I play I play as if I'm playing black, but I, I have a3 He's not ready for it. He's not ready. He thinks he's ready, but he's not And now we hit him with a b4 trying to disrupt any sort of c5 action Look at look at how useful this move is Yeah, I mean Carlson's been requesting a change to the world championship format for a really long time i don't uh i can't personally say that some of the suggestions i've heard from carlson in the past definitely stand out as like the choice but i do agree that it should at least be a conversation to change the format Oh, Ricky was playing Sinister. Solid game, it looks like. You guys were playing for for solid, solid amount of time. Definitely played longer than, than me. I think one of the, if not the longest game from the first round was, was you guys. Intense. I actually don't think it's crazy to allow bishop take c5 because the dark squares are looking really valuable. William Master 2 just joined the doghouse. William Master, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the doghouse. Uh, ay, ay, ay. Don't blunder stuff. Not recommended, not recommended. Okay, let's go for this funky move. I'm kind of working on bringing my queen over, but um, there's some a thought of queen b6, I think, for him. This opens up bishop d4. Hello, hello. 
It was a close. It was about a draw until he panicked because he didn't have much time and overlooked a pawn that took my queen. Ah! Time pressure still gets you, even with the two-second increment. I tell ya. Stockfish, no. Stockfish, don't play like crap. You got this, I believe. Be the stockfish we need in the world, not the one we have. By that, I mean the engine. What's the, what's the, what's the rearrangement I'm looking for here? Actually, should I just go, maybe I should just go for the pawn rush here. It's kind of interesting. I actually kind of like it. F4, F5. Here the popularity of increment is going up. I mean, I like it. I, I, I will definitely say, well, I, I really like flagging people as, as many people that have played me <laughs> are aware um, I don't know, just all around, I'm be I, I am becoming a fan of, of increments when it comes to blitz time controls. Particularly, I do, I, I would say that the, the Title Tuesday 3-1 time control has grown on me. Just a tiny bit of increment to keep from flagging. But nothing, nothing too crazy. Still keeps you on your toes once you get low on time. Like it's hard to, it's hard to actually build up time. Just enough to avoid flagging. Usually, unless you're like me and still flag. Let's get this bishop way out of here. Bishop a1. Rengal, your favorite part of Title Tuesday is when two bozos are playing King plus Rook versus King plus Rook for 50 moves. And it happens every Title Tuesday. Every time. It's crazy. Like, well, although Rengal... I don't know if you saw this game. One of my favorite Title Tuesday games ever was this one guy was uh, playing out like a very, very clearly dead drawn opposite colored bishop end game. And everybody was waiting. And he would like play 49 or 40 moves and then he'd push a pawn. And he played 40 moves and then he'd push a pawn. And it was just like, we're all watching this guy completely dead drawn opposite color Bishop Endgame, not making any progress and very, very intentionally just extending it. And then at one point, he just had a complete blank out moment and he ended up losing the game. Like he was up two pawns in this opposite color Bishop Endgame, but very, very dead drawn. And he had a complete blank out moment and lost his Bishop and then ended up uh losing the game and it was it was so fantastic like yeah you just made us all sit here and watch you very intentionally extend this game and <laughs> and everybody's like in the comments frustrated until that happened and then everybody like yeah let's go dude ggs a3's kind of cracked what can you say It's just kind of the best opening. Yeah, I think uh, probably some moment here. Um, I think when I got 95 and I think your bishop was just too valuable, but you probably needed to, to change before that because, um, I mean, I don't know if you can avoid at that point taking on e5 because of the pressure on c6. <laughs> GG's, GG's. They thank you for the clarification. Focus. Oh, you needed to go undefeated to reach your score from the last one now. Okay, you got this, dude. Just, just don't play me. Again. <laughs>
Yeah, the Bishop Time Waster. That that was the worst. It was the worst one. Like people that play out the Rook versus Rook, it's kind of like okay. I mean, you know, at the worst case, it's going to fifty moves, right? You know, it's not the best, but it's like okay, we we can live with it. But that guy was just so intentional that he was trying to extend the game, and it was like okay, come on, and the fact that. The fact that he ended up losing it made it so worth it. Every single move that he wasted of our time. <laughs> uh, so worth it. I would I would watch that again. I would watch that on repeat. It lives in my head rent free. Okay, let's bring this bishop out. In games are the best. Extend them out. No, not if literally hundreds of other people are, are waiting on you. Oh no, cruel. Uh, no, infinite. It's unrated. Man, Yisk is... I just caught up to Yisk. Both... Both on nine. Oh, and Sinister's at nine now. Three of us tied on nine points. That's a fun dancing cat emote. C5, knight C6. Actually, if you're not going to play D4, I think I push D4. Yeah, I take, I think we're chilling. I'll have to be a little bit careful since I'm not castled. King's still in the center, but. Oh, oh, son, what? Oh, son of a biscuit. Oh. All right, Blazing Heart. Um, hey, y'all, just. Uh... A Dracago just joined the doghouse. Uh, the pro, I, uh, don't. I was I was I was thinking bishop b5 then I play bishop d7 right bishop b5 bishop d7 bishop b5 bishop d7 and when he checked me that clicked and it was like I'm in check I play bishop d7 <laughs> but he checked me with the queen <laughs> ah shoot dang all right who who redeemed gambit a queen I gambited a queen I gambited a queen I I'd <laughs> Ah, dang it. All right, let's throw a little. That's not even. That's not even a good move because now my rook hangs, but at least we get a castle. Ha <laughs> ha. At least we get a castle and I'm losing so badly. I'm losing so badly. Oh my gosh. What the frick, dude? I just blundered a piece. I blundered my queen. I, he's not gonna castle though. Ah, ha ha. He's not gonna castle. He's gonna sack for my pieces. That sucks so bad. <laughs> uh. Okay. Where's the I quit chess button? Uh. Have they? Have they released that yet? I think it would be quite useful. Okay, hold on, hold on. It's not over until it's not stalemate. It's not over till it's not stalemate. So we got a chance. We got a chance. We got to start losing some pawns. Why has the edge here? What? Nah, no, 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 no edge here. It's just uh, I got compensation. Oh. 
Oh, no, Blazing Heart, I'm so sorry to do this to you. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. I'm so, I feel so bad. I mean, of course, the competitive side of me is going to try for stalemate all the time, but oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, you, I, uh, you converted that so well after my big blunder and, uh, I'm sorry. I'm so happy that I didn't lose, but I'm like, so I, it's a mixed feeling. For the content. Oh, okay. Okay. Normally you resign if you're winning. What? Why, Blazing Heart? You gotta, you gotta take advantage of those mistakes. All right, all right. Shh. Blazing Heart, get into your zone. Sounds more smooth. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I enjoy me a good stalemate. I can't hide that. I enjoy me a good stalemate. Can't have a 1,000 beating a GM. You'd look like... No, nah, you wouldn't look like a cheater. If, I mean, I, I, I not after that. Akratic. Currently, I am playing an arena. So we are all jumping in. We are all challenging here. But after, I will take viewer challenges again. Seems more realistic to say I tied with a GM than to... No, Blazing Heart. You got to take, take that. You gotta take that. Earlier you beat it. Yeah, earlier you beat it 2000. I mean, that's on me, my guy. You don't need to worry about it. Excuse me. You played well. I blundered. Uh, it's unrated. And uh, Infinite uh, made sure not to join to leave a spot open because, you know, Max Player's 2000. He was really worried about it. Uh, the club is right here to join. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, I was going to go for this anyways, but I don't know if I have as much compensation as I want to. Or should I take back? Yeah, I think I take back here, actually. What is the best in life? What is oh, what is best in life? You know, playing chess, drinking some monsters, chatting with some good folk, I think is pretty sweet. I mean, I, I enjoy my day-to-day -day life. Oh, crush your enemies. It's a reference to Conan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh Okay, we take, yes, now we take. He's trying to avoid me getting rook d7, but it's not gonna happen. Not gonna happen, we're gonna lock it in. Rook d7. We have another rook to back up, back it up with. We have some queen e6 ideas, e6 ideas. Crush your enemies, see them flee before you, hear the lamentations of their women. Is that it? Is that how you do it? I'm not, a, I'm not actually terribly against the queen trade with how active my rook is. I'm not terribly against it. I think it still makes more sense to keep them on the board for now, but we might come back to that. There might be a queen trade. Oh, I didn't realize Sinister is streaming. I just, uh, I mean, I saw the pop-up, but 
or or I guess it could just be a streaming account. I guess it still pops up even if he's not streaming, but he might be streaming. Couldn't lose the game, so best you just. Uh, no worries, no worries, Blazing Heart. You do you. But next time I blunder my queen, destroy me. I just want to keep him from blocking off my rook, keep the pressure here, and then I, I run this pawn. Okay. And I run this pawn. Rook C8. I feel like I'm missing it. Options, options, options. <clears throat> Let's start here. Queen to H4. Then take here. I think this will be GG's. Excuse me. Oh, dude is on fire now. He's won three games. GG's, GG's. Yeah, at this point, it's clean. How was the sack overall? Not bad. Uh, apparently, it was bad. Queen d2 is really good, but after just bishop c8, we're already in equality. And then it quickly turned around in favor for me. I thought about queen d3. I didn't think about I didn't think about queen d2 though. Which I don't I don't mean to make sense, but I guess you just start taking pawns. And the queen will actually be a really good defender slash attacker on c3, I think. Because it sort of calms down any f6 ideas. It's interesting. <laughs> uh, focus with all the references today. Is is uh is is he streaming? Wait, I could I could actually open link in a new tab. You see preparing the stream. I'm gonna watch Sinister. You're one out of one, time to retire. Perfect score. Just dusting off. Hey, hey he is streaming. Nice. Let's go. Oh, wait. Wait, he's listening. <laughs> We're trying to... <laughs> That's right. He listens to the copyright music. We try to avoid that. Uh, forget. Scratch that from the record. Mr. President, it's just the normal sugar-free one. Band, uh, shoot. Just trying to check out Sinister's, uh, Sinister's stream there. But I forget. We're, we're a little bit pickier about that. We were a little bit pickier than a lot of people because we we chop up our content for other places pretty often. And they crack down, I tell you. Particularly YouTube. Man, I'm the odd man out again. Gotta I gotta still gotta catch up to Miles here. He's leading. Oh, and I get a Craddock. All right, all right, here we go. Here we go. Good luck, Craddock, joining in late, ready to destroy. Oh, YouTube started picking up on the ad blockers. 
Dang. Can listen to this version. It's copyright free. What is What actually is this? Wait, now we're on a different video? What the? I'm so confused. What do I play here? I think I typically play this, actually. I, I do a little switcheroo. With bishop d6, now I go bishop g5. Like the pressure there on f6 a little bit more and want to keep the dark square bishop for at least a moment i think i can play this i think i can play this i think i can i think i can Yeah, the capture, and then you capture there. Now, I can take on f6 first. Take here. <laughs> without copyright all the copyright stuff what the frick <laughs> no what the heck the, <laughs> uh, the call of the moose while it's in mating season what the frick jeez <laughs> uh, there's no cop are you sure there's no copyright you know are you sure that seems like a very Highly uh, sought after audio focus. Dude, don't tilt. Don't tilt. Just lean. Lean a little bit, but don't tilt. This has not happened in my 60 30 Swiss events. Well, that's good. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Uh, yes, take. Yeah, so you get your rook active, but I think this pawn's going to be a monster. I think this pawn is going to be a freaking monster, which is running up the board. No worries. It just runs. Big hit with Gen Z, they listen to anything. Kind of for reals, though. <laughs> Just depends on how you label it. And uh could get good could get some good attention. Actually, take. Yeah, let's go here. Let us go. Okay, now we go here and we dance. You can dance if you want to. can leave your friends behind because if your friends don't dance and if they don't dance well they're they're just like me <laughs> i do not dance on stream okay bishop e4 lock down the c2 protection 
I could push this pawn, but in the end, he is able to sacrifice, worst case scenario, sacrifice the rook for it, sneaking back here after taking, which I don't particularly love. I think I'm going to play bishop e4, and I think I'm going to slow play it now. I got, I got my extra pawn. I got some pretty well-placed bishops, and I think I just slow play it now. Axelak just joined the Axelak, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the doghouse. Infinite, everything's out of control. All right, Infinite, when you say everything's out of control, what, what particularly comes to your mind? I mean, not wrong, but is there is there a specific thing that kind of gets to you? GG, Zocratic. Oh. A rematch against Blazing Heart. Okay. Blazing Heart. We gotta we gotta buckle down. This has been my only draw thus far. Can't we can't hang stuff now. Blazing Heart, you have an antivirus that has ad blocks, something else blocks ads, and then a VPN that can block ads. They update the browser, but then they update the ad block. It's a game. <laughs> Ugh, Blazing Heart is not messing around with ads. Oh, as and say, we can dance, we can dance, everything's out of control. Oh, okay, thank you, thank you. Wait, they're doing it from pull. Wait, is that actually what it says? Oh. What the heck? <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Good to know, good to know. I mean, I guess that isn't, it could be like North Pole, South Pole, right? You, you already think you're losing, Blazing Heart. Why? I'm just gonna like really attack you. Wait, Blazing Heart, no. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I assume something else too, Infinite, but back when the song was actually released, it's definitely a lot more likely it was innocent than nowadays. Thought you would blunder queen again. Ah. Yeah, that's that's kind of my one goal in this game, though, Blazing Heart. Like, screw everything else. I just need to not blunder my queen twice. I can live with the disappointment of, you know, not even winning, but if I blunder my queen again, then... Then I, I really have to talk to chess.com about creating a I quit chess button. Some of those old lyrics are wild. It was just less explicit. No, that's true. That's true. Like, there's definitely some crazy stuff in the old days that, let's be honest, is a bit overlooked. Like, you get all these people out, like, back in my day, we were, we were so clean. We, we just did everything so good. And it's like, well, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Can we get fancy with it? Hold on. Can we get super fancy with it here? I think this is actually... Wait, what? No way. No way. I think this is actually the best move. Queen F6. Because the idea is if he takes the pawn, I take the queen, he takes, and then I fork the king and rook. And if he takes my queen, it gives me time to utilize this pawn to get a second queen. Queen f6, let's go. Last time was a blunder. This time giving up the queen is actually brilliant. I knew there, there was something in that last game. I just... <laughs> uh, Kingsley, imagine quitting chess every time we blunder a queen. Uh, yeah, but the way I blundered it was not my, my, my shining moment.
Ooh, GG's. GG's. All right, I need to know. I need to know just if for sure queen f6. It's not. It actually is fine. So I thought about this. King e8, take queen d4. But what's the follow-up? Rook c1, rook f8, queen g3, and just take. So it is fine to not take. Queen f6, still very good. But castling queen side is why it's not the best. Castling queen side saves the rook from any sort of forking idea. Wow, wow. That's okay. Queen f6 still feels good. Hey, dude, wait, are you still tilting? <laughs> Please say yes. <laughs> uh... Can't figure out how to make myself into me and three. You're not a real chess player till you've rage quit at least five times. I sometimes like when I play bullet by myself, I do I do get a bit I do get a bit raged. Not raged. Uh okay, a little bit raged. Um mostly just very vocal and passionate. And uh, last time I did I played a lot on my personal account and I got a bit tilted. I was like I was very in the zone. And I was glad it, I was playing here in the office just in between streams and kind of happy that I was not streaming. <laughs> Cuz I got I got a I got a bit in, into the zone. There was a uh, there was some words said for sure. Some some very strong words were said. There was some very bad chess played. Applying my tilt never stop. I mean, quitting chess entirely. Oh. No, I've never rage quit like that. I'm just full of rage. Hey, you're the Hulk. That's your secret. Okay, Banner. Time for you to get angry. That's my secret. I'm always angry. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Chess is awesome. Twenty one just joined the dog. Club. Chess is awesome. Thank you for the follow. By the way, everybody, we just crossed fourteen hundred followers with this stream. So thank you, everybody, for the followers. And uh, let's go. Oh yeah. So here's the thing. I'll tell you. I'll tell you straight up, Infinite. Uh, I'm pretty. I, I don't know. I may be not confident. Tony definitely dropped some words, but of the three of us, I probably swear the most off of stream. I could I could be wrong in that, but I yeah. Now I want to clarify, that's not because I rage a lot. I really don't. But I spent two years in Australia. Uh, if anyone that's been to Australia or lives in Australia, you you should understand they don't they don't care. <laughs> Australians, they do not care. I heard language that I have I've never heard here in the US in Australia. And it is super casual, super chill. They just it, it, it's the Australian way. So after spending two years there, um I my my whole perspective on swearing definitely changed because I mean okay no offense to anyone that's not well, not my intent to say if you don't swear like you, you, I I disagree but it's it's kind of like when when you just you live you're in an environment where they just don't really care like it definitely changes the whole perspective of swearing and it's like okay well if if that word is not bad in australia like does is uh, how do i feel about it all of a sudden it's like well it doesn't quite feel like swearing anymore that's uh, probably not the best way to explain it but yeah gp exactly yeah that that word is is a term of endearment for wait okay we have increment how do i how do i destroy how do I start winning stuff? Let's just bring the knight. Let's just bring the knight over and see what happens. Blazing her. I have no idea what I'm doing, but it's it's working. When are we unbanning the F word then? 
<laughs> Kingsley, why do you want to use the F word in chat so badly? <laughs> uh, why? Did, why? Uh, yeah, GP, I, I did. I served uh, an, an LDS uh, Mormon mission in Australia. So I was there for two years. Swearing is an important part of the English lexicon. Uh, dude, I forgot I'm playing you for a moment. I was thinking I'd be doing well enough, and all I need to do is win this game real quick. Yeah, just, just, no, no problem, dude. Just keep winning quickly. Oh, Sinister with the read. His chest just raided with three views. Raiders, welcome! Everybody, loud sound warning! We got the thing. Now, I've been doing the dino dance a lot, but I think it's time for me to drop another raid shark. Y'all better be ready for it. If you do not like loud sounds, I strongly recommend you turn your volume down because raid shark is a freaking party. It's got to be loud. We got to hear it. And on your mark, get set. Do the raid thing. Never mind. Oh, I started. Raiders, welcome. Hit you with the shout out because Roro is distracted. Thank you so much for the raid. Raiders, welcome. Dude, GG's. Yeah, Night H5 is going to be big, big tough one. What's Kenny? Santa asked me to give you a promo code for 10 viewers. Copy and activate it here. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, what, what is that, Kenny? What is that? What is this? Very sus. Hey, the Lord of Ramen is here. Watch out. Let me get mod so I can ban. It's okay. Sometimes some people do those as a joke, and I, I don't mind as a joke as long as it... Uh, smart detection. Infinite... See, infinite's dropping it as a joke, and I want to allow it, but our auto mod caught it, and so I kind of want to kind of want to destroy this message. Yeah, I'm going to deny it. <laughs> <laughs> the power's got into my head. <laughs> yeah, sinister. I took a look. So, yeah, bishop c8. Um I, I I don't know why, but I totally spaced out on queen d2. Like I was thinking queen d3, it felt it felt promising for you, but I'm like, ah, you know, it's probably okay. Like I, I can I can work with it. But yeah, Queen D2 just like completely out of my my mind entirely. And uh does look pretty sweet there. Hitting the E3 and B2 pawn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no F word guys. I <laughs> oh jeez. Oh jeez. The F word just dropped very casually. For you infinite yeah so in all honesty i do think i do think uh i don't know swearing as a whole i do feel like has become a bit more casual nowadays personally um but i mean here in utah it, it is it is uh it, i mean it's utah it's a, swearing is, a, is is definitely looked down on here uh, more than most places. Uh, but it, it's also kind of nice. Like for us, we, we try not to swear anyways when we're streaming. And just just allow for more of a family-friendly field. Stream family-friendly environment. That's what I'm looking for. So, a bunch of brutes. <laughs> uh yeah not brazilian you do the same in brazil hey ski money whoa whoa what's up nerd what's up to you friend how's it going welcome welcome still nine minutes in the arena anyone 
not in here, you can still join. Get a game or possibly two in. Stockfish, you're playing Caden with a C. Focus. Uh, maybe, call, maybe calm down a little bit. Uh, that makes Matt's reactions to my wins feel much better. Wait, dude, what was what was the reactions? What was Matt's reactions? Where's the clip? Where's the clip? All right, I feel good just about what's going on with his pawn structure here. I feel good about it. I want to keep this bishop, but that knight is annoying. Really keeping my... I think I should take, just because that knight's really restricting this light squared bishop. And keeping me from playing b6 as well, because at knight c6. Okay, this is not ideal. I'm just lacking, I'm lacking a little bit of development. Ah, focus. Okay, that's okay. Much, much better wording. We don't, we don't want to, we don't want to puck anything except in hockey. Ugh. Jeez. <laughs> what is happening? Oh wow, dude! Wait, Matt. Matt dropped the F word against you. What the heck? Wait, really? <laughs> Wait a second. I I missed it. I was I was lurking in that stream, but I think I had the stream uh, muted at that point. I even went back and watched. Did I miss that? Ah, you beat him three and a half half. Oh, okay, that must have been a diff different game than the ones I were watching. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Yep. Happens to the best of us. I, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I have also, I've dropped, I've dropped words on stream. Um, for the most part, like I've, I've even gone to drop, like I've gone to drop words on stream and I've caught myself before, but on occasion, I, I not only swear, but I don't realize it. And, uh, that that's happened. That, that's happened too. Uh, what's the what's the dealio here? What is this? Why is this energy so awkward from this queen? Why 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 is it a thing? Can we just not? Oh, that's a good idea. Okay, okay, I see it. Finally, rook d8. I was I was thinking I want to take with the queen anyways, so I didn't see the use of playing rook d8. Now I was wondering if there was a more useful move. I was a bit worried about. Rook c7, but I think of rook c7, I play queen f3. I I, I go for a counterattack instead of being so focused on defending. Yep. Go for the counterattack instead of so focused on defending. This is this is it. This is the the secret, the secret code. And actually, let's go this way. Give my king a little bit more space. Try and create some pressure with h4. I tried to post the part of the Navy SEAL copy once that one time, and Tony just thought I finally cracked. Uh, I mean, we all know it's going to happen at some point, Ski Money. You're, 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 I'm sorry, my guy, but you're, you're, due, you're due for a good old getting cracked in the head one day. Hate to break it to you. All right, all right, all right. We really need a queen trade, or at least to disrupt the queen. Even if it's not traded, just to disrupt, I think, would be a huge victory. Actually, let's start here. Queen d7. And then push the pawns. Start pushing the pawns. Balance, balance going for the queen trade and pushing pawns. I think. I 
think therefore it works, right? Okay, king g7 cover, queen f6 cover, offer the trade, and defend the rook. Finally, we get our trade. Defend from this side and hmm. Actually, let's I think I know. I think I know what I should be doing here. No, I should do, wait. Hold on, hold on, we'll, we'll get there. I know kind of the idea that I'm looking for. It's just getting the right move order. Okay, actually, I think I can play e5 here. I wanna trade this. He takes, all right, now we got two pawns over there which is sweet. This will be good. This will be chill. A rook by itself is enough to push these two pawns. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm your life down. You guys are just popping off in chat. I'll get back to you at some point. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta clean this game up though. This game's a little messy. You guys gotta, gotta clean it up. GG's. That was intense. That was a tense little end game there. That was an intense endgame. Okay, we got a minute and a half, so I think I'm going to pause there because I don't think I'll have time to finish another game. Standings are looking good for me. Let me pull up the full screen view. So you got, well, I have a standings. Let me show you guys the standings here. 27, I think uh, Sinister paused playing, finished streaming, paused. Thunderbolt here paused, so... No one, no one looking to catch me. All right, what, what is? <laughs> uh, Bled Red Wine, thank you for the follow. Bled Red Wine just joined the Dorb House. Hey, Ricky, if you if if you want to play after the arena, I got about thirty minutes before I got to go teach my lesson. Since you didn't get a game, you can send it. Uh, this uh, person that's been ch challenging me, Ranger, if you're in chat, let me know. I'd be happy to give you a game, but I'm going to prioritize those in chat. So if you're listening, let me know. Ooh, yeah, Roro, it was not your best event. It was not, it was not your best. 50% score. I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad, but it's definitely not your best. GG's, everybody. Dang, I, I managed to take it with, with my one draw. Blazing heart. Got a bit got a bit lucky. But hey, look at this. Let's let's pull this up again. Look, we got 17 people. These midday arenas are feeling pretty good. Thank you everybody for joining. Many GG's. Uh, Ricky, if you want to send me a challenge, we can we can send it here. And uh, keep going. Let me close out the arena. Sometimes that will keep from the challenges. So skills never luck to play bad. Uh, wait. <laughs> yeah, my my skills got me in a bad position. Uh. 50% dude you ended up on man dude you were on a tear for a bit there glad I was able to uh <laughs> keep you in check 
All right, here we go. I'm assuming this is you. I'm assuming if this if this isn't if this isn't you, Ricky, this is just awkward now. Akratic, um, in that endgame, I think you should definitely just take on e5, not take on f7. Uh, I think you're probably holding if you just take on e5, but I was going to try and bring my rook to f5 and go for the, the side support from the pawn, uh, because that allows me to bring my king over. It could be a lot trickier of a defense for you. Um, but I think you need to go for something like that. Yeah, uh, taking on f7. Yeah, one of those you just play in the moment and then regret it immediately, right? Yeah, Blazing Heart. Hey, Blazing Heart, you drew me fair and square. We... <laughs> You can talk about that game. I, I can't promise I'll talk too much about that game. <laughs> uh, for the obvious reasons, but... Every now and then, I do blunder my queen. Every now and then. It's it's not the first time I've done it on, on stream, and it probably won't be the last. <laughs> Next time you're going to tell your nephew. There you go. There you go. Yeah, chess is awesome. You can send me that friend request if that's what you're talking about. If you've already sent it, let me see. Oh, if that was you, I just accepted it. If you haven't sent it yet, I'll still accept it. Ooh, your best OTB draw was against Jordan Van Forest. He's a really good player. Marco XFN just joined the doghouse. Marco, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the doghouse. I want to take. I'm gonna take with a pawn. He didn't hang anything, just a draw. Ooh. Uh, what we call that? We good enough to call it a GM draw? No blunders, just solid, solid drawing. I, I, a Craddock, I just played Jordan this last title Tuesday and. Uh, I played a really good game and then flagged, so. It's, uh, you have a better score against him than I do. Yeah, he's, you know, he's really good. He he held on well. I, I, I kind of caught him out of the opening, and he, he defended it well, and I just, yeah. <laughs> uh, I just flagged. Oh, uh, jeez. With an increment. Like a silly guy. All right, nine of five. <laughs> Blazing heart testimonial. Since joining the doghouse, my ELO has gone from 1,700 to 1,000. But somehow today I beat a 2,200 bullet and a GM got a draw. All I had to do was shave your head. Ugh, inspired. G4, interesting. I do find myself a bit skeptical, but feeling skeptical and showing it can be two very different things. Proving it. MBL display. Oh, you gotta play MBL? Wait, was that also OTB Acratic? Oh, that's so cool. Let me think. Blitzwise. Blitzwise. Um, I mean, I've played. I've played uh, Hikaru, not OTB Blitz, just uh, OTB Classical. I've played. I played Aronian OTB Blitz. Oh, you played Donchenko. I played Donchenko back in two thousand ten. The World Youth Chess Championships. He's a great player. First, the Super GMs were playing me to humor the, me. Then we played a bunch because they realized I was good enough so they could have fun. That's awesome. Wait, so it, Akratic, it wasn't it wasn't like a tournament. You, you were just playing casually? 
made you decide to take chess well yeah man what 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 inspiration to play against some of the best in the world it was not a, was that not a good that was that was a is that a question We'll make it work. We'll make it work. This might actually be okay. Uh, I definitely didn't calculate a certain move here, but I think we'll, we'll we'll be okay. Yeah, that's the move I didn't calculate. Uh, I kind of forgot it was a thing. I thought this knight was going to have to move, but of course this opens up the defense. Yeah, I think I play knight f5 because even if I do lose the exchange, this dark squared bishop is going to be super strong here. Open diagonal, some threats with bishop d4. I think it's fine. Tony Tony actually pointed this out because I was telling him about my game with Chris Chuck at Title Tuesday. I'm like, yeah, I lost the exchange and then managed to trick him. He's like, dude, I feel like you lose the exchange a lot. <laughs> like that's that's kind of my number one mistake, honestly. Uh, when I play, is I just I just slip the exchange a lot. I got to be more careful with my rooks. Maybe it's because I like bishops too much. Just subconsciously, I don't care. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He does have rook d one. I think I got to start here. Put the pressure here first before I try and bring my rook in. Don't play in tournaments yet. Probably gone from 2300 to chess.com to 2400. Lost 80 points in the past two days. So you haven't been playing great. We all know how that is, right? But it was just this summer. About to go to town in Mexico on Sunday to spend three months of intense studying with a GM friend. Necratic, you don't play in tournaments. That's crazy. You're out here tra training with a GM friend, and you're not even playing in tournaments. I mean, respect. That's super cool. Okay, wait, 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 wait. What's going on with F5? Whoa, the F5. Mm. Uh, da -da -da -da. Yeah. I think I think f5 with that nasty pin. With the nasty pin. Alright, I want to play g5, but he has rook g1 with that pin, so let's sidestep king f7. You'll play in tournaments eventually. If you want to go for fm, I am at some point you have a solid plus score against fms. Most fms you know, but just for blitz, tourneys are different. Yeah, turn tournaments are, are very different. But, I mean, if you're getting lots of good experience, you're playing a lot of title players, you're doing well against them, I mean, that's a great sign. <clears throat> All my best games are tired, or after being up over 24 hours tired, just an excuse. No, I mean, there's definitely something to be said for being tired and trying to play. It can affect you. But I do think sometimes when you are tired, that... Um, I know you're you're a bit out of it, right? You're 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 a bit more relaxed. You're maybe not trying so hard, and there are certain I think psychological aspects sometimes of being tired that uh, just just click well. Wait a second. Where is it? Where is it? Where's the tactics? Where's the tactics? <clears throat> Okay, I think let's start here with the check. Ah, got got a few I got a few moves here I could go for. It. Now, I do need to be careful cuz there is a world where Rook d1 actually sneaks out a lot of this. Because my bishop's chilling on, on d4 now. So maybe I slow play this. I think, let's play bishop e4. 
This prevents rook d1 because now my bishop's not hanging, so I can just take here. And then after take, <laughs> I think I just bring my king in and go for f4. And it's hard for him to do anything because my bishops are just going to be absolute monsters if this knight moves. Like, even if he gets the king out of the way and goes for the maneuver, I think my bishops are still going to be an absolute, an absolute pain. All right, here I was thinking bishop f3 now. Was thinking the bishop to f3. Or we have bishop d8. Or rook d7. I kind of like rook d7 going for sneaky tactics. Almost going more for a checkmate. <laughs> I don't know what I do. That's good. <laughs> that's a that's a positive sign for me. Yeah, that's positive. Uh, yeah, I think I'm feeling Rook D7. And kind of switching gears from attacking pieces to going for almost a checkmate. Hey, Yara. Welcome, welcome. Everything's been going really well. We just finished a 3-2 Blitz Arena. Oh, what you would have done on Bishop D8. What, why didn't I like Bishop D? Oh, I think it just rook G1. I didn't see a follow-up I loved after rook G1, just defending. Infinite, you didn't play a tournament until I was 2200 rapid. Wow. See, I played in a tournament before. Like The tournament was... was before online chess for me just like a local one at a club, but it, it felt like very normal to go and play in tournaments. All right, King G5. We got good pressure, F4, a possible attack. Maybe I should have spent more time thinking about Bishop C7. I thought about it, but I didn't see the follow-up like for checkmate if he runs. I, I mean I have a check here, but then it just seems to just seems to win a no, doesn't win a rook. Yeah, I don't fully see it. We'll check here. Bishop G7 before... Oh, Zoma, yeah. So I was thinking about Bishop C7, but in that moment, like that was kind of my main idea with Rook D7, but Rook D1 hits my Rook, right? So I, I had to I had to do something about that first. Okay, I'm gonna go rook h3 because I want this bishop to go back to b6 somewhere here. And I don't I, I just don't want this king on g3. Uh, da -da -da -da. Okay, 
check. We could play the most intense game of Ring Around the Rose. I, I almost want to play this just to show the Ring Around the Rosie here. Here, check. Here, check. Here, <laughs> check. And we're back, King F2. <laughs> oh, jeez. Right, but now, what is the follow up? Uh, this is actually kind of annoying. Kind of annoying because I can't quite find that destructive blow that I'm looking for. Sorry, chat. I'm a bit in the zone here. Hopefully be with you in a minute. I think you found it. I don't know, though. Actually... No. No, no. Let's let's go with check here first. Yeah, but you play stuff and things. I still don't see the destruction. Still don't see destruction, so I think I'm going to try and start by harassing this rook. Because I, I don't love its placement. I don't love that I don't have bishop c7. Not that I, I necessarily think bishop c7 is a destructive blow. I just, uh, just like to have the option. Okay, we can go for it with uh, bishop d6. <laughs> just keep chasing this rook. Wait a second, wait a second. The rook trap? The rook trap on f7? Where does it go? I don't see it. I don't think it goes anywhere. Except to the, the, the card graveyard. Oh, you sneaky son of a biscuit. All right, I actually, I actually think I can activate my king here, and I, I'm, I believe this will be nice. I'm believing in the niceness that will happen. This looks trash, so you should win. Thank you, Infinite. You're stuck? All right, I'm not going to say anything then. I thought rook d7 was very intentional. For for reasons. No, the flag. Yeah, knight h4, because it distracts my bishop from protecting my rook. I think rook d7 was the one way to save it. I definitely feel like I missed something even better somewhere here, but... Really solid defense. Really solid defense. GG's. Wow, it's actually... It says it's dead equal here. At the end. Ah, where was it? Bishop d6... 
Okay, hold on. So here it wants rook f1 instead of king g6, which is fair. I I definitely missed rook d7. Rook d7 is a nice little is a nice little sneak with this fork. But rook f1 threatening bishop d6, yeah. That makes sense. But here with all the checks. It still wants rook f1. Rook f1 just always the answer. Interesting. So there is no absolute... Other than rook f1, did I ever miss an absolute destruction? No, wow. I mean, probably slipping the exchange wasn't smart. Yeah, knight f5, but, but even still, I mean... Oh, just join the dog house. Yoma, thank you for the follow. Yeah, that was that was a solid defense. That was a very solid defense, Ricky. Like I spent so much time here because with my bishop and, and rook, I just or my bishops and rook, I felt like there should be like a checkmate or something. Like win win the exchange back, but uh rook f1. Rook F1 was the only moment that I missed a destructive, a destructive blow. Yeah, that's tough. What did I blunder two times? I imagine Rook F7 and some sometime earlier. Probably considers a blunder. But the game, the quick game review is the quick game review is is kind of bad. Like. Like, you hit game review here, it's going to give you this. But if you come back in a while and game review it again, it's typically going to be... It's going to show some differences. Like, like already, you said two blunders. I'm showing you just made one blunder and one miss. Oh. Um, Kaden, that sent me a challenge. I think you were the one asking. I only have time for one last Blitz game. Then I do have to head out. I, I have uh, I have to teach a lesson. Ricky, that was a great game. That was a that was a really exciting game. Um, yeah, you defended it super well. It's uh almost almost the disbelief that I just I like I wasn't checkmating you there. Oh, a rated game. All right, pressure's on me now. Pressure's on. Gotta finish. Finish the stream above 2800. Ooh, c5. Interesting. All right, I'm going to play knight c6 in this case. Prepare things. Prepare some things. Okay, d5. Yeah. Yeah, it would it would suck, uh, and sometimes, sometimes I do I do get people that are cheating, um, that will come and play, which is which is I don't know part of why I do prefer unrated, just so we can all be casual, we don't need to freak out about it. Sometimes I do just lose, but no, I uh, they, they they played in our arena. I I I I'm not too worried about it. It's actually been super nice. I I feel like went through a period where just about every other stream we would get someone that was cheating and i i haven't played i haven't played a uh, cheater in quite a while now so it's been it's been really nice we we we've we've banned them all so they're they're out and now we just have all the cool people w chat oh no the bishop All right, all right, all right. Um, so, I mean, as far as this position goes, kind of what I was going for in the early stages, uh, because he played uh, c5 here, was to get in some sort of e5 to break that structure. It's it's kind of uh, the plan you typically want to go for against the, the pawn chain like that. Either e5 or b6. No, the knight. Ricky, no, no worries. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for playing the arena and playing the 10-minute game. Very, very solid. GG's to you. 
and definitely hope to see you again. All right, let's just go for boring. Let's go for boring. Steven, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Remember that time? Yeah, Tony was losing like 20 to 3 in a bullet against the 1500 cheater. That was a fun stream. Uh, yeah, now on the reverse, I feel like Tony in his solo streams has gotten more cheaters, which is a bit sad. Um, so I've kind of been lucky, but I don't know. He, he's gotten a few, and yeah, he, he he happened to play against someone that was cheating when he was trying to, he was trying to do like a, a special Christmas event, uh, play a match against someone and, you know, a few things. And yeah, unfortunately, someone that did seem somewhat trustable had been in our streams before was in fact not. So, a bit sad. A bit sad. Don't cheat, guys. If you, if you think you get away with it, I, I can promise you, you don't. Like, sometimes it takes a minute. It, it does. But you don't get away with it. I, uh... Sadly, the, the, I've had a couple of people that I've actually played that, that were in chat for a while and that I've played a decent amount. I've had, I think, two different people that I played and, and strongly suspected might be cheating. And even though it took a while, both of them did end up getting banned. So it's, it's, it's hard because GG's, that's it, back rank. GG's, my friend. Um, but yeah, I mean, some people are a bit more cautious, not so blatant with it, but between the games, like it's really hard to play like a human, like one person that I played quite a bit. I had my suspicions for a while. They were cheating because they were so clean on their conversion. Like we would play, they might blunder a piece here and there, but then if they were ever beating me, it was just so clean and it just, something about it felt really off. And then the other person that I suspected who wasn't, again, not going full blown was because in chat, like I could kind of tell from their chat that something was just like their, their, their play didn't match some of the things they were saying. They weren't aware of, of some openings and, and kind of what they were. Um, and, and like things like the King's Indian defense, that's like such a classic and it was like, okay, I understand that happens. I don't know all the openings. I get confused with them. But it was just like they would play me like 100% straight up and then they wouldn't know uh, some more basic things. And it's it just don't cheat. Don't cheat. If you, if you ever hit that point where you're discouraged and you think to yourself, well, I'm smart. I could get away with it. Just it's a bad thing. No one enjoys it. And you're not going to get away with it. I, I tell you, you're not going to get away with it. I don't know Jack, but who doesn't know Kings in Defense? Yeah, that's kind of kind of true. Blazing Heart. Uh, any cheaters in chat? You know anybody? Anybody uh, want to raise their hand? We we have a conversation. Responsibly delusional opinion on Krillas. <laughs> first time chat. This is your first time chat? Responsibly delusional, and you want to know my opinions on Gorillas. I respect it. Um, I'm a big fan of the glue. And the tape, the animal is pretty cool too, but I do prefer monkeys because they got a tail. And I've absolutely seen uh, in Gibraltar, I played a tournament there. There were monkeys on the island and they're freaking trolls. I think monkeys are hilarious because they, <laughs> they're just, they're trolls and it's, it's fantastic. So, well, now they know they better learn King's Indian. Yeah, well, it's just, uh, like if you if you play me toe to toe, right? And I could tell like at multiple games that you're you're playing really well, you're keeping pace. And then we have a conversation about the game and you can't really answer basic questions. <laughs> Blazing heart, Alexa, how to cheat at chess without knowing what is King's Indian. No, 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 don't ask that. Don't don't please don't. Don't do that. 
Don't cheat. That's my point. Don't cheat. And if you're tempted and think you're going to get away with it, I'll tell you, you will not. It's not worth it. Why Why in the world would you do it? Oh. All right. Uh, I'm taking a glance because I'm finishing. We're going to raid. Um, I see Emma Showtime here is streaming. She has raided us a few times. I like to send it back. So I'm going to set the rate up here. Everybody, thank you so much for being here. It was an absolute rocking stream. Some great games. Uh, a, a, a good arena. I, I've been really enjoying these midday arenas. So once again, shout out to Dude. It was his idea originally. Usually we have saved the arenas for late night in the after dark. But this time uh, and last week, it's been, it's been a nice vibe. I appreciate you all joining. Uh, go show Emma Showtime. Some love over there. And I had one last thing. What was my last thing? My last thing is that me and Tony are likely going to be streaming earlier tonight. Me and Tony are likely so, oh, whoops. That's the, don't listen to the repeat of the audio. Um, because we are flying earlier tomorrow, going to the Charlotte Open, we'll be streaming earlier so we can, you know, get to bed a little bit earlier not be zombies tomorrow, which sounds nice to me. Uh, so be ready probably in about three and a half hours, potentially we'll be streaming again. Uh, I don't, I didn't see a full confirmation from Tony, but I think, I think so. So hope to see you all back tonight for After Dark. And until then, you guys stay totally amazing. You are. And as a perfect send off, leave you with Miles. Don't cheat. Instead, eat.